I am technically a minute late. Oh no, a minute late. Ah, what's gonna, you know, you go back a level, ah. <laughs> oh no, it's a minute late, who cares. Uh, though, I mean, today's gonna be a pretty interesting session. We're gonna be using Battleman's booklet. God. <laughs> I think this is the reason why I got sick. I put so much energy into this thing that I was weak to the world around me, and it seized the opportunity to infect me. Evil, evil. Oof. Fuck Matilda, dude. Uh, <laughs> I mean, all... you're right, though. Yo, deadass, probably Matilda. Not gonna lie. Just blame it on Matilda. Blame yeah. everything on Matilda. Yeah. Hey, world hunger? Matilda friend. Uh, you know how it'd be. But how's your day going? Uh, Pretty okay, pretty okay. I have been cooped up in my dorm for the past week because Ooh. my roommate had to go get tested for COVID. Ooh. And yeah, she tested negative and then her doctor was like, well, it could be a false positive. So let's do it again. And so, and then we finally got her result back negative again. So I am oh. no longer uh, stuck in my dorm constantly. So that's nice. That is nice, ain't it? I have a pomegranate. Um, I made, I, I, I got all the panels for a shirt cut out today. All right. Yeah. It's been a good day. It's been a good day. Good, good, good. What about you? Uh, been prepping for D&D, picking up music. I actually just like, like 40 minutes ago, there was a technical difficulty thing I was freaking out about. I, um, <laughs> as you may have noticed, there's some weird ended. Oh no, you haven't joined the game yet. But there's a oh, no. new no. member to the game called The Story. And that Ooh, yeah, is yeah, that. a thing that sees things from your guys' point of view, through your tokens, through your everything. Um, this is the way I'm going to record it now. Less for me and more for anyone who wants to get the player experience. So, yeah. But earlier, I, um, the technical difficulty I had was I do multiple windows on my one computer. Or multiple desktops, I mean. And so I go mm -hmm. back and forth, do my music on one, D and D in the other, and that's how the recordings are. And if you ever see like sort of like the screen goes completely white for like a millisecond, that's me switching between desktop windows, mm. or d desktops. Uh, and so I was like, oh, I can have a thing where I do all my DMing stuff in one, and all my regular person like you know the story stuff in the other. Um, and all I'd have to do is go in there to minimize or maximize the page so that people can like you know you can see everything that's going on so it's sized properly but i realized that when i was in one desktop it would stop recording the other one because it does uh -huh. it, it captures what you tell it to when it's on your monitor so if i say only capture this window of rule 20 um it will do that but um if i'm not on that window then also or if my De or if my monitor isn't displaying that window, it won't capture it. So it's quite the comeuppance. But I figured it out. I now have it like doing window capture, and now I'm alt tabbing, and I'm doing multiple. De it's. I just need another monitor. <laughs> I just need another monitor. Hey, you guys want to buy another monitor because you love the game so much for me? You know. <laughs> uh, please, dude. Uh, I have to. I have to like replace my own laptop pretty soon. Your own laptop? What laptop are you using? Oh, well, uh, okay, so it's like, it's a pretty standard gaming laptop, but it's mm. three years old, and placing graphics cards doesn't really work very well with laptops, <laughs> and also, they're super expensive, and I, I bought Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I was so hyped to play it. I upgraded all my drivers. I I, I updated everything, hmm. and now it won't launch because my graphics card doesn't support it. That so, yeah, sounds horrendous. I have no hello on my PlayStation. <gasps> Zoddy, what the fuck? What did he get in here? <laughs> He's uh, been here for a hot second. <laughs> I can explain my lateness. I was making a illithid monk on roll twenty. An illithid. <laughs> Like a mind flayer? Honestly? A uh, mind flayer, yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. There's actually a lot of cool, uh, fun things you can do with it, but of course not for this. 
All right, all right. Oh, man. Yeah, this this game, I think, is way too low magic for illithids or mind flayers or any oh, no. of those creatures, oh, yeah. unfortunately. Definitely. Well, I shouldn't say low magic, because there's some pretty high magical crazy shit in the world. Yeah, but illithids are more... Or they border on science fiction sometimes. <laughs> Really? How so? That's that's kind of true. They're kind of they're kind of more. They're aliens. Yeah. Straight up. They're not aliens from with the magic. Planet. Like I I don't know I I don't call that sci-fi. I call that fantasy because you I know guess... you get magic, you get medieval weapons. It's like the, come on, come on, fantasy. Well, it, it's it's they. I don't know. It's it it. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, did did Tristan just join? Looks like it. I don't know. I can't see. Well, on a different tab. Well, do you have your food yet? Yeah, I, I got it. <laughs> this better be the best meal of your life, because if not, ooh. hang on, hang on. I'm gonna live first bite for you guys. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Wait, what is it? We gotta know first. Don't taco. Your the fries are cold. You're the kidding. Are... You're kidding me. The fries are cold. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Do you can get fries at Del Taco? Yeah, they're really good. This guy. Come to Del Taco. We got Del really Taco DoorDash. <laughs> what? They have two minutes away. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. It was worth it. Uh, the pip is okay. The pip is okay. That's all I wanted. Uh, uh, I just wanted a soda. Okay. And you had to cold fries and a soda. You had to door. You couldn't just like go out and get one. Doesn't DoorDash like? How much does DoorDash cost? Like how much does that add? The it service is. fee, yeah. uh, was like a dollar fifty. Yeah, what? Wait. isn't that bad compared to like Uber Eats or Grubhub. I also didn't get a lot of food, uh, so that probably influenced it a little bit. Damn. I use Waiter sometimes, but DoorDash seems like it's more user friendly. I I've never used any of those things because I cook. I'm like, oh, I'm a number. Well, I just moved well, into an actual city, so I get to do that now. Yeah. Hey, for, nice. for those of us who can't cook, uh, cold fries. Bro, just like, just, just cook, bro. It's like, it's, li it's, it's therapeutic, honestly. Not all of us have kitchens. Oh, facts and logic. <laughs> um, oh, these fries so good. Well, before starting the session, uh. Two big announcements. The one that I'm most proud of personally is Battleman's booklet. Got all my juicy ideas. Put them into one. We're going to be using it. Um, it's very not play tested, so we will be the play testers. <laughs> well, this is just like you know, I, I I was looking at the rules that I use in like previous games and stuff, especially the unique rules that we ended up creating in my last group. And I was looking at some of the rules that I have in this group, specifically changes to the feats and injuries. Uh, and I was like, you know what? Why don't I just take like the best of everything that's related to combat and just put into one thing? And then uh, I was like, wait, this is all for non-spellcasters. And if everything but spellcasters getting buffed, that feels kind of weird. And so then I put a nice buff for spellcasters as well, which is pretty last minute. But I think it's quite comprehensive and nice and it fits... And you can flavor text it and all that jazz. So, Bowman's booklet. We'll be using that. Now the announcement that's big. The special surprise that's in store. As you can all see in the game, there's a little thing that says the story. And it's in a nice, verdant, emerald green. Uh, that is a thing that sees from your character's point of view. Is a player. Can see through your tokens. Our recordings are now going to be 100% viewable by you guys, because you'll get to see what players see, as opposed to what I, the ultimate god, the DM, see. So, yeah. Hey. Hey, hey, got him. Uh, trying to think if there's anything else. No, I think that's it. So, who wants to start with their recap first? I guess I'll go. <laughs> as soon as I open my notes. I remember last session, uh, Tristan was like, Bah! 
I want to say it before M steals what I'm going to say. <laughs> and so, so I was expecting, I was like, who wants to go yeah, first? But, but I, I, I said it first last time, thinking. so, uh, you know. No, Zoddy said it first last time. Right? Uh, 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 yeah, did he? he did. Yeah, he did. Oh, shit. Yeah, Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off to be game. fair, I'm it's crying. been like, like two weeks. <laughs> you know what? If those fries were better, I would be all right. But now, <laughs> now I don't even know. So these are my notes. No, they're not. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Zoddy. They're not your notes. <laughs> <laughs> God, no, these are these are my notes, word for word. Okay. Um, shirt carrying the head is the son of a fellow his wife is talking to has found muffin slash scone that was very old, filled with maggots, but not moldy. Has literally cannot talk about his son. Door was really badly broken, but not destroyed. Salt line poured in front of door. Suspects, Matt, Matilda, maybe Brandon. Met a boggle fellow, was trapped apparently, really wanted us to open the furnace door. Has youngest son found in furnace is a ghost. And then b- below that, I have Kiflings because I because I made it there on our first session and we haven't gotten to Kiflings yet. <laughs> <laughs> what I didn't write down is we killed uh, Teague. Teague after uh, my two elf friends almost died. Mm. Um, elf, but okay. <laughs> I did a pro gamer move in which I... <laughs> Threw myself out completely by accident. Put myself in the doorway so the ghost was like, "Ah, fuck!" Then I smashed uh, Teague's head. And then the last thing I did was yell for mob, and we heard Brandon upstairs. And I was like, "Oh, fuck!" And then you said we had to leave, and I called you a cocksucker. But apparently, you got cut off. Yeah, you you did call me a cop, but I did get cut off. So <laughs> there you go. That is my recap of events. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to read verbatim your notes. Uh, feel how to say it. That was essentially that's more than I was going to say. Oh wow! All right. Well, um, like it's less about the the actual things you write down and more about what sticks mm. in your head and what it means to not necessarily you as a player, but to you as a character. So what really stuck in my head the most was the final battle. Everything before that kind of just like was. I don't know. I'm glad I took notes. Mm. I am as well. <laughs> um, who wants to go next? I'll go. Oh man, Trist- <laughs> Tristan. Sorry, I- Tristan. Tristan. <laughs> I'm really slow on the draw. I'm like sipping my pib right when you're asking this. I'm I'm like digesting those fries that sucked. I'm oh my god. Yeah yeah. He, keep, he's keep out the of fries it. in the oven, just to, or the microwave or something. They're a cry. Oh my god. Oh boy. Okay. So we started out in the basement because we were about to run. Uh, we couldn't get out through the second entrance because there was black gross shit again. Um. We went upstairs and we couldn't get out the front door because more black goo. Uh, we were going to try and like set the door on fire. Um, Fog uh, spent uh, his time looking at the paper he found in the cave. Um, uh, but he saw one of the fate here, uh, followed, it to, followed it into the basement. Uh, we saw... Uh, an eye behind the door in the basement held up the moldy, not moldy, maggoty growth shit as uh, the key, the goo ate it, uh, and then the door was clear. Um, Wilhelm cut the lock out because I tried to pick it and it didn't work. Um, blah, blah. Uh, Wilhelm was inspecting like this pile of logs uh and picked up the wood picked up a piece of wood dropped it and saw the boggle uh got kind of an info dump about the language dryad um uh boggle spoke dryad i talked to him for a little bit um 
He wanted us to open the furnace, and it had to be Fog or Phaedra because younger siblings. Uh, Fog opened it, and the furnace door was closed instead of hot like it should have been. Uh, Ghost Boy, uh, Faye talked to him, found out it was Haz's other son. T killed him by biting his neck. He didn't like Matilda and called her the bad woman. Uh, He asked us to help Teague and told us he was shy. We went upstairs and tried to talk to Teague through the door and it didn't work. Boys left, tried to talk to him again. Door opened. Uh, I went inside and found Matilda's journal made of human skin uh, uh, and learned that she had killed Teague, felt guilty about it, and then turned him into a botchling, but fucked the ritual up. Um, then the door closed on me while I was reading it, and I got attacked by the botchling. And now I am at five levels of of exhaustion. Uh, Fog is unconscious, but will be up in three hours. I cannot walk. <laughs> My speed is zero. Um, and then uh, Haz came in, and then the building started shaking, and Ghost Boy was yelling. Uh, and Haz told us his name was Callum. Uh, and then his last name was, his real last name was in journal. Uh, Callum O'Seely. Wilhelm went down and told him uh, his name, and the curse was, uh, the haunting was ended. Um, and then Haz disappeared with Teague's body, and we ended with Brandon in the tavern. Well, goddamn, that's, uh, <laughs> that's, that, that's way better than mine. I mean, damn. Damn. It's funny to think that, like, all this happened over the span of, like, in, like, in-game, maybe an hour and a half. Like, that's that's the amount of time. Yeah, it's, like, five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we just woke up. I dropped my pomegranate. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Well, Tristan, your turn. Kind of hard to follow that up, but uh, <laughs> I think the one crucial thing that uh, M did not mention was that there was also a shade uh, that was allegedly uh, summoned by the botchling, though we don't quite know that. Uh, and it ambushed Fog and absolutely eviscerated him. Um, Wilhelm did a clutch stabilization that had a pretty high DC, but he managed to pull through. Uh, and Fog needs to remember to tell people that he has a healer's kit on him so that they don't have to make checks like that anymore. <laughs> uh, a, bit of, very poorly. a bit of a note when it comes to healing and healing kits and tools and supplies and all that. Uh, I was giving it a lot of thought, mostly today, and I spoke to uh, another D&D group that I'm in as a player, about the difference between alchemy and herbalism. Because in my mind, uh, the more I thought about it, Alchemy just seems like herbalism plus. You know, it's it's minerals, it's it's spicy, ooh la la. Um, maybe you work with magical things more, and then herbalism's just like omega botany. Uh, Ow. And then I spoke to one of my uh, one of the people I play with, uh, Sarah, and she said, "Well, alchemy has more like you know intense instruments. It might take more time, and it's more difficult to learn because there's so much. So maybe herbalism's like the more available thing." I was like, you know what? That's that's a really good, clear distinction. Accessibility. And so, Fog, from here on out, you can use your alchemy in place of uh, herbalism, provided you have the right utensils. So Yay. I don't, but yay. <laughs> but, like, you know, you know, like... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Well, with that, let's begin. In our last session, granted it was a long session, but not so much happened because combat in D&D, who, that's always quick, right? Our heroes discovered Haz's youngest son, a ghost in the furnace down below. 
looking to leave the inn they were in, freeing themselves of the curse, they investigated and discovered all is not well in Hexmud, for upon trying to find Teague has his eldest son. They discovered he did not get to live to be such an old age. He died as a child, long ago, was transformed into a botchling. Upon investigation, Phaedra walked into the room alone. The botchling, whatever spirits may be, trapped her and almost killed her. If it weren't for Wilhelm and Fogg, Phaedra would be dead. Save away. <laughs> Fogg went down, almost dying. And Wilhelm, to put it in his words, made a pro-gamer move and <laughs> saved the day. The victory was bittersweet as Wilhelm absconded down to the basement to break the curse, telling the ghost child his true name so that he may find identity and find rest. He returned to find that Teague's butchered body was missing, along with the person who took it away. Has. In a cauldron of mixed emotions, in a cauldron of multiple states of consciousness, barely awake and unable to stand, completely out of it altogether, and so full of adrenaline that he might punch the first thing that moves our heroes heard a familiar voice enter the tavern. Scene is yours, guys. Shit. Yeah, I was just waiting for the map. Uh, where? I can't see Wilhelm. Wilhelm's probably. Right there. Oh, there you are. Uh, if I recall, I was rushing out towards the door. Yes, and you heard Brandon come in saying, "Oh, ba 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 ba, something, something." Uh, uh, I told I told him to meet me in the morning so I can explain. Yeah, and he's like, "Yeah, uh, I'm here." The shirt. Uh, Wilhelm is going to, I suppose, set his greatsword down, but keep his longsword at his belt, um, and step outside. Bre Brendan? Oh, there you are! I, I know it's really early, but I got some important things to tell you and you know he said to see you early anyways he had some explaining about Gedu and and all that uh, uh, my friend I think I have a bit more to explain than just Gedu um have you seen Haz uh no though I saw you come in out of his room that's not the greatest idea to be frank I... How much can I trust you, Brendan? I mean... I can't speak for you to me, but I can speak for me to you. I trust you! And as he says that, uh, Mob starts walking over to you slowly, sniffs your hand, then goes underneath one of the stools at the bar. Like, running away, or just sitting under it? No, just sitting under it. He approached you and then buggered off. I need you to follow me, and you may see some things. Has is okay, I think. You may see some things in here. Phaedra and Fog are hurt. Oh! Uh... And they need help. I want to ask for a persuasion check 
Because you still haven't explained... Like you said, you... Yeah, roll persuasion. That hits the DC. Okay! I'm trusting you here! This wouldn't include going to Haz's room, would it? Um... Yes. I will explain, Dedu, this is more important because my friends may be dying. Oh, oh, ab absolutely, yes, uh, lead the way, yes, mob, yes, yes, stay yes. here, stand guard. Mob might want to come, maybe, I mean, he's, he's, he's a, he's a good boy, he could, he could come. Well, uh, Brandon's following you. <laughs> oh, oh, ha. Huh. Uh, hey, Fena. Phaedra. Phaedra. You don't look too um. And he sort of eyes you over. You don't really look super alive. <laughs> yeah, don't really feel too alive right now. <sighs> Phaedra. Um, I asked Brendan for help, but now that I think, Brendan, can you read? Oh, no, he can't. <laughs> he had us read the notice earlier. Oh yeah, I forgot. Do we need to get Matt? Who? You know, I I can do that. Matt just, you know, he's in his shop right across from this building. I I, I get him yes. and and out of this spot. Okay, yeah. His shop. Brendan. Yeah. Tell him... Fuck, I don't know. I don't know if I should tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> tell him it's an emergency. Uh, yeah. And he's gonna... Skitter, scatter out. And... I'm just gonna grab his greatsword again. <laughs> Wilhelm, I think we need a change of location. I would agree. Um, I think we honestly do need Matt here. Yeah. That he is the only one I know that can read. Um, that journal. He may be able to figure a few things out and help us. We are not in a good looking position right now. I'm sure you understand. Yes, yes, I do. I have blood on my boot. I'm surprised he didn't see it. <laughs> Not more than your boot. You've got a little something on your cheek there. I, I always attacked. It, it hurt a lot. And fog. And the feeling. When is fog set to wake up? Like three hours? I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, three hours. It gonna be a while. He's still breathing. If that's a good sign. I, I had. I don't know how I did it, but I. I need a bath. It's important is that you help him. I. I help you carry him, but um. I I think I have to carry both of you, unless Matt wants to pick up. Oh God. Oh. oh. Hello, mob. <sighs> mob, Hello, mob. sits there looking at you. You're a big boy. Think you can help me walk into the other room? You trying to make any gestures when you say that? I don't know. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna, I'll, I'll ask for an animal handling. If you, a, uh, or if you're actually like trying to make an attempt and not just saying that, cause haha, pass the time. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Right. Might as well. I'll like try to motion him over. I guess. We have new animal handling rules. <gasps> oh. Oh shoot. 
Should I look at the handle of the handling rope? <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna pretend you didn't say that or didn't ask that because I'm gonna assume that everyone read the uh, the Battlelands book like that I worked so hard on. <clears throat> I read most of it. <clears throat> I did read it, and I have a question, but for later. Okay. Okay. Uh, I can't find the animal handling, actually. It's just at the top of the oh, list in your skills. <laughs> it begins with A. Is it under uh, oh, there. training and training? Yeah, yeah. Would this be... We're looking for the rules. No, not just, the, uh... just, yeah, just, just make no. an animal handling check. Don't worry. I, I got the rules. Oh, okay, down. okay, okay. So I don't need... To... Okay. Yeah. It matters more that I know the rules than you guys. Nope. Mob's gonna... Walk it. over to you slowly, uh, walking a bit over fog as he does so. Bleh. And <laughs> he's going to <laughs> fall on top of your arm, Phaedra. Uh oh, mob, not that, mm. that's not that's not the right thing to that's the exact opposite, actually. But he it, it's okay. okay, he he sort of rolls over, but since he's such a big dog, when he rolls over, he actually rolls quite a lot, so he's no longer crushing your arm, Phaedra. So Will is just gonna be I standing give him the belly rubs. Mob. You give him yes, belly yes, rubs. Yes, yes, you're a good you're a good boy. I do, I give him belly rub. What else are you gonna do after having a near death experience when there's a dog right there? Fair enough. Uh, you guys still got a bit of time so, Wilhelm, is there anything you want to do? Check on the basement, search the room, uh, repair the door? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do that. But... Ooh, what the hell? What the hell? Okay. Um, I want to walk in here, actually. Where is... I keep on forgetting. Where is this door to the outside? Uh, you see that candle on the table? Yeah. Uh, I'm going... Oh, no, you guys do have control over it. You can move that around and take a look yourself. Oh, shit. Yeah. I got you, homie. That's the bed. That's... There's the door. That... Oh, that's what... Okay, that's where the door is. Okay. There, um, there's a chest right there as well. Wait, what? Ooh. Well, I'm just going to pick up the candle. <laughs> <laughs> Why Once he sees like this? this, and I want to open the chest. Uh, there's no lock, but it seems to be um, pressed shut, almost like it was really hot, and when the metal cooled down and constricted, it did so in a way that makes it difficult to pry open, so you're going to have to try and pry this baby open. I'm not sure. Well, Helm, what are you doing? I, I may be able to pry a chest open, but I don't think it's a good look. Yeah, probably not. I'm just going to leave it alone for now. And if we end up having to search it, I have crowbars. That's way better than what I was thinking. Yeah. And Wilhelm's just... Fuck out. I don't... Uh, I don't know how to handle what's going to happen. We may be run out of town. We may be killed. Well, let's try... Those are our only two options for the first one. Um, Can you help me into yeah. the other room? What? Can you help me into the main part of the tavern? I suppose so, but I wonder if... Uh, Mob, up! He, uh, rolls over farther away from Phaedra, but he doesn't actually stand up. How big exactly is Mob? Like in dimensions? He's a Not medium. Dimensions. He's a medium-sized creature, bro. He is. He's a. He's a mastiff. He's a big guy. If I were to put a body on top of Mob, would he be able to carry it? <laughs> <laughs> carry? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. If it's a light body, perhaps. What about a half elf fellow body? <laughs> you could certainly try. Okay. <laughs> it's more a matter of animal handling, though, than it is Mob's capabilities, because no matter what, yeah. he'll definitely be able to drag Phaedra or Fog. Mob, would you like a treat? His ears perk up and he looks at you. 
Uh, you just have to... Would you like a treat if you carry this elf man? His eyes are still staring at you because you said the word well, I shouldn't treat. Say, I probably shouldn't be saying elf man in front, in front of everybody now that I think about it. <laughs> I'm going to gesture mob to get up. And I want to reach into a ration and pull out some like smoked meat or something of the such. <laughs> the rations that were left out in the rain and are kind of poopy. I have other rations. Like, still clean rations. We have some good rations. You No, you have rations that aren't ruined, uh, but they're all, like, you know... In a oh, yeah, I forgot. They're all... Yeah. Yeah, they're all in a state of muckery. It's a Ooh. it's a piece of meat that is slightly flavored. <laughs> it's a piece of meat that was salted. Seeing the uh, soggy, congealed bit of flesh that you're holding in your hand, Mob begins to drool. Phaedra, sorry about this, but a lot of the drool just, like, gets onto... A bit of your hair that's standing at the side. It's getting plastered to the floor. I want to then lean down to pick up Fog. What are this? And try to slide him on top of Mob as if he were a horse. Animal handling. Like you're sitting you fog in, up? Please. No, no, like no. Uh, like a uh, like throw him I like so like both sides like yeah, his so arms are like, hanging like, up one like, side and his legs. So like was... to use the term fog, you ha you have fog straddling uh mob's back, but since fog's unconscious he slashed his word. You hit the DC. Oh really? Yeah, and handle something <laughs> nice. an animal is trained for is a uh, is a ten. I wasn't sure if that was I'm looking at the animal handling thing, I wasn't sure if that was like a Thing. <clears throat> that was a thing. And then I want to uh, help Phaedra up. Or at least carry her if she can't walk. And go into the next room. Yeah, uh, question. Can yes. I walk like assisted or do I have to be carried? You can like walk, but how to say it? If you're assisted, yeah. Because, okay. you know, okay. the issue you have right now is you're just drained of all your energy. You're exhausted, you know, you can't stand on your own. But if somebody's carrying you, sure, you can shuffle your legs about a bit, so long as you're lucid. Then uh, he's going to help her walk to the other room. All right. Uh, Fog, I'm going to move you and uh, Mob together. Sure. So... Uh, and as you guys enter the main part of the tavern, the door swings open. Yeah, and so as I was saying, they were covered in blood, and it looked horrible. Oh, hey, guys! Hey, mob! Uh, I, I brought Matt! And Matt is wearing pajamas. They look to be made of patchwork, high-quality fabrics, like something someone would put together if they're only able to buy nice quality fabrics, small amounts at a time. Is the fabric, does the fabric look better than his usual clothing? If it was unanimously the same, yes. But since it is a... Wait. I'm trying to figure out if his pajamas are in better condition than his normal clothes. Like, oh, he God, like, shows no. comfort. I'm, well, you know, like... <laughs> like, he was like, I want to be comfortable when I sleep. My normal shit's fine. It's made out of high-quality materials that are just woven into each other, so it looks ridiculous, almost like a clown costume, because it's so Harlequin in its patchworkness. But, um, you know, high-quality uh, material is going to be high-quality material, so it's going to feel nice, it's going to last a long time, something you can sleep in. Something that's easy to wash and doesn't get ruined when you wash it. So, you know, it's quality. I'm going to sit uh, Phaedra down in a chair. Does does his pajamas, do, do the patchwork fabrics resemble any of the stuff that I found in that stash downstairs? You don't even need to make a check. Yes, it does. Oh. I didn't realize that was a thing. I was so just either he was, was keeping them there or he's been taking from that stash. Okay. Wait, what stash? It was a fabric stash. Downstairs, like, was... 
Session two. I thought those were ruined fabrics. I was looking at something else. <laughs> yeah, you're you're looking. You're thinking about the like the messed up, disgusting hides. Yeah. Uh, which were like near the stairs that lead out back outside, and she's yeah, thinking yeah. of the thing in the coldest room. Okay. Okay. It all. Hey, uh, Matt. <clears throat> Matt. Uh. We're not. Can you talk. read? Before Say that. Yes. Before that, we're not gonna talk here. I can tell by the looks of yous and from what Brandon said out in there that we're not staying here. Uh, Brandon, you know what to do. Um, we're gonna take Mob though, because it looks like they need him right now. Uh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, you're in your shop, right? Yep, for sure. Uh, all right, rest of you, come with me now. Let's go. Matt, Matt, I think he might want to. You know, he's already, uh, at, he's already at the door. Matt, I don't. Looks like we're following. I want to walk over and close as his door. Uh, as you're doing that, Brandon says, "No, no, that's that's my job. I'm gonna be uh, cleaning right now. You just, you know, get out of here." <laughs> I want to stop, Brandon. Like, put my hand on his chest. Ah. Uh. And say, Brandon, what is about to happen, and has it happened before? What? You are... You, you seem like you know exactly what you are doing. Like, this has happened before. No. That's not... Matt said to clean up that he's been concerned for a while now, and he wants to talk to you guys. Can I, like, tell if he's lying or not? You can roll an insight if you think you might be lying. You're not sure. It could be his nerves, it could be that he's lying, or it could be that he's being honest, you're just not sure. Well, I'm just gonna let him pass. Alright, and uh, take care of Mob. I, I know you will, but, <laughs> you know, blood in the coat isn't a nice look. <laughs> I, I I already owe him a treat, so he'll be fine. All right, th thank you, Wilhelm, and I'll walk off towards the door, shutting it behind him as he enters. Going to lift up Phaedra and then continue outside. All right. Uh, do you want me to move all you guys outside where Matt is? Uh. Uh. Yeah. If that's the plan. All right. Mob and Co. Here we Are go. we going to see a new map? Oh, no. Probably not, because I don't have one just for some shop that I <laughs> never anticipated actually using. Yeah. I don't um, know what kind of shop he had. Well, you're about to find out. Uh, as you walk into the still dark but early morning air, um, you follow Matt for a while. Do you want to say anything while you're walking? Like any walk and talk or just follow in silence? I just want to ask Matt, do you know what happened? No, but I don't think it really matters. There's too much going on. Has this happened before? Not sure what has happened, and I expect you're going to tell me. You seem very... Never mind. Just going to stay quiet. All right, well, after a good four minutes of walking or bumping along, as is the case for uh, Fog, um, you come across a building. It looks like a shack with a bigger shack built halfway on top of it. Uh, the door has what is a space for a window pane, but no glass. Uh, Matt reaches through that empty space that is a open sill and... Reaches inside, you hear a as he unlocks it from the inside, opens it, follow me, and he enters himself. Uh, going to follow. Uh, Mob isn't going to go inside, he sort of stands at the door, 
with fog in his body still. Uh, Matt, can you help me? He comes back out. Mob doesn't want to come in. Good boy. Lazy boy, but good boy. He weirdly, uncomfortably pats Mob on the top of the head and picks up Fog's limp body. Uh, I'm going enters. to throw a piece of meat towards uh, Mob. Uh, uh, mob lets out a brief snarl, but laps up that bit of soggy meat. Probably yeah. disgusting for you guys, but absolutely delicious for him. Inside the shop, you can see it's a menagerie of knickknacks and miscellaneous items. Paint brushes that are missing some hairs, snapped halves that could be used for a felling axe, or heck, even whittled down to be fit for a sword handle. Um, sacks of something, whatever it may be, but there's sacks abound. Uh, a little box here, a bigger box there. The house is a mishmash and it's also messy finding place on the floor that isn't covered is difficult in the back there's another door but it's looks like it's permanently set in its state wedged between items and stuff that gets into its door frame so it can't be opened fully or shut fully well now that we're here make yourself at home and he gestures around to Looks to be makeshift seats, crates that have some padding and, and cloth on them. Um, I want to lead Phaedra to like a chair <laughs> and then try and put fog on something that's like a padded crate of some sort so he doesn't like, I don't know. Wilhelm is a bit confused <laughs> and worried. Okay, normally I'd set a light up so I could, you know, get a look at the stranger strange drum talking to. But Morn Sun's gonna be rising soon, so let's just get to the talking. What happened, and how'd it happen, your point of view. Can you well... read? Well... Yeah, that's a good... Say that again, Wilhelm, I, I missed what you said. I asked him if he can read. I've got a good grasp on the symbols for numbers and a few words about transactions and trade, but I'm a bit lost when it comes to more stuff. I'll uh, take out the journal and hold it up. He looks at the journal and, and it's weird material. Uh, I'll give it a look. This was Matilda's. Well, what? That's not her real name. Didn't put her real name in here. I don't know what it's made out of. Yes, and this is before he's touched the book. You, you might not want to touch it. If you know. Well, what's it made of? Human skin. Insight check on his part. <laughs> you roll the nat 20, what a useless roll. I'd say you're shitting me, but I... Honestly, I wish I was. Honestly, I wish you were too. I'll take a look at it. And he holds out his arm, outstretches his hand towards you. I'll hand it to him. Teague has not been studying for the past two years. Figured as much. I mean, I'm not one to criticize if others raise their kids, but it can't be possible for a kid to do well and be kept in a single spot all that time. You'd probably go I, mad. I said that when I was talking to you when we first got here, and you brushed me off, said that... Oh my god. Well, when you first got here, you're a stranger. You're meddling in the affairs of people who have lost a lot. 
Well, let me give this a read. And I'll take just a few seconds to mull it over before saying, I can't get anything out of this. I'm seeing numbers. I know the dates. I know the years. Uh, something about teeth first. I'm, I'm a bit lost. I see uh, an herb I here, can... prickly ash. I've got some of that in the back. I can um, paraphrase, like. Uh. Are, do you know if there's anyone else in town who can, who can read? I. I mean, apart from. After we tell you what happened, I. We, just. This needs to be, this is very, this needs to be read by someone because it is honestly unbelievable. Yes. I, I know, uh, I know Charkert can read and write many languages. Uh, Yilith a few, <laughs> not as many as that guy though, um, but has, has, uh, he's, he's got it. He can read and write. Um, I'm sure we should probably explain. Read, but... We should we should probably explain what happened before we talk about has. Yeah. Teague hasn't been alive. Matilda killed him, and then when she, I don't know, felt guilty for it. She brought him back as a, a botchling. Are, are you going to say anything more or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to word it. It's a... Horrible looking creature. And it did this to me. It looked like a... Like a... Almost like a stillborn. It... I don't know how to describe it, Matt. It was... It was... It was a nightmare. Matt, um, a... can you both roll a... insight checks for me? Oh. Oh, mine is at disadvantage. I forgot to roll at disadvantage for the animal handling uh, check, but it didn't uh, really before, matter. Before we look at my cool roll, did you roll for our, our um, inspiration? Inspiration, yes. And I will say the first roll of the session has been a nat 20. I'm not going to say who got it, but, you know. <laughs> it's probably not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised. 11. Uh, Wilhelm, you can see that Matt's trying to maintain his composure, but, like, there's something in him that's just... You don't know what it is, you don't know exactly what emotion it is that's that he's trying to keep down, but, uh, there's something he's trying to keep down. Is it sorrow, disgust, horror, anger? Can I tell if it's directed at us? Oh, 100%. Uh, I'm just You don't believe us, do you, Matt? I believe, well, I trust you two, you for knowing Yilif and you for, well, you know, you're, you're a knight and all, armor and stuff, but, um, gotta say, I believe you think you're telling the truth. Well, if we have Charcourt read the journal, if it comes from him, will you believe us? Most... She wrote all about what she did to those boys. I mean, you're showing me a journal. There's... I mean, is there a body I can see? There was. Has took it. 
You met Haz? Is he still alive? Haz is fine. Yeah. We didn't. I wouldn't say fine. What would you say? Broken. Yeah. Everything from him. You know, that's what all guys say when they get rid of their women. But No, she literally took everything from him. Yeah. Whenever I... No, listen, Matt. I asked Haz about Teague, about what was wrong with him. Haz could not tell me. I mean, literally. The words could not come out of his mouth. He was hexed. What More was first? What was Haz doing uh, last you spoke with him? He, he he just left. He he came into the room after the fight was done. He took Pig's body and he left. You don't know where he went. All right. Well, I got some. I <sighs> got some bad news. If you're looking for Charkert, uh, him and me daughter, they're sort of doing their thing and middle of the night, actually when Brandon awoke me, I wanted to make sure Una Rita didn't get awakened too, but she's gone Matt's... for the time being. Uh, Matt, I understand it is good for couples to be together to express their love but right now we need a fucking person who can read because this is serious this could destroy everything here matilda could destroy everything here she already basically has i hear you i hear you no you don't she did this while we she is under a curse that has limited her power, and she was still able to do all of this. Oh. She... I think she's getting close to breaking whatever it is. That's that's why she picked Paz and the boys. She wanted to use them in order to break it. Roll a persuasion, Phaedra, and I know it's disadvantage because exhaustion. Fuck. You do have an inspiration, and you might be the nat 20 person. Or sh I shouldn't say nat 20, it's plus 20. But, uh... Oh. uh disadvantage! <laughs> I know! It doesn't matter! Yeah! There we- let's go! I'm finally getting good charisma rolls, what the fuck? That's a ma no, this Matt is when you, like, really need them. Okay. Hang on, Matt notices that we're, like, we look like we've been through shit, right? Yes. Okay. I think it's pretty impossible. Okay. It's dire. It's urgent. I hear you. I don't know where Charkert is. I'd tell you exactly if I knew. I know quite well where I think Yilif is. She's up in the wetlands, maybe the marshes. She's up north. She's, she's trying to solve the orc problem herself. Suicide, I know, but... I mean, that's... That's the best I can give you. But I can give you a bit more. Stay right there. Phaedra, he's doing this because you got a, you beat the DC by five. So this is what happens oh, next is thanks to you. He walks into the back, going past the door that's stuck ajar. His belly sort of scrapes against the side of it. Um, you know, it's not the most glamorous sight. You hear a bit of a, a bump and a tink in the back. Both light, not like anything serious. And he comes back. Uh, this here, uh, uh, hyssop, sap, and nectar. Um, supposed to be good for the body. Uh, Illy is the one town that knows about herbs, or Illy and Matilda. Um, I don't know who takes it. He holds it towards Phaedra, holds it towards you, Wilhelm. Uh, I'm sorry, repeat that? 
Uh, he's holding out a jar that has some sap and uh, yeah. plant matter in it towards one of you, whoever takes it. Wilhelm is going to take it. <laughs> uh, take that with a meal. Digest it. I should help you out. If you're really banged up, maybe give it a sniff and a taste. That might spark something in you. But it's probably just old wives tales sort of things. Just gonna give it to Phaedra. I, I, it might help, I guess. The dirt. Um. Take it with a meal. Like it's just like the one jar. How how big is this jar? Is it like normal mason jar size? No, it's it's a uh, maybe like a long vial. Like if you take your middle finger, maybe double it in width, like that size. It's tiny. Oh, tiny. Too tiny. He did say you can also sniff it, taste it, and maybe that might spark you if you're really down. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead, give it a quick uh, sniff. What, what does it smell like? Uh... Smells pretty bitter, actually, because it's sap. Um, it doesn't smell sour, doesn't smell sweet, doesn't smell salty. It smells bitter. Uh, not as strong as tree sap, but it has a an aroma that isn't super pleasant. I'll uh like uh dip my finger in and then just like taste test it. You taste it, and it tastes bitter, and as you taste it, you know, you, you know when you sort of wince and cringe, and that cringe sends shivers throughout your whole body? Like cough syrup. Yeah, but when your body relaxes from cringing, um, your muscles do feel, for a split second, a bit more relaxed, and that was quite nice compared to what your current state is, which is five levels of exhaustion. But it was only, it was a brief moment of, of reprieve, nothing more. Oh. God, it's probably all gross and viscous. Viscous. You know what? Fuck it. Bottoms up. Um. <laughs> Anyone want to interject before she just downs the whole thing without a meal? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm just going to say, uh, uh, he specifically said with a meal. Yeah, I, I did. Do we have a meal? You, uh, God damn. How big of a meal? Time sensitive. I I don't I don't know something food. Oh. Here I'll I'll take out one of my rations. Maybe give a bit to that guy as well. You don't look too good either. The fog is very. Uh, <laughs> is there a way we can make, is there a way we can make him swallow? I don't want him to drown on this whatever it is. Just a touch. Maybe, yeah, it's it's easy. You just. You pour it, and then you rub the throat. This is just giving medicine to someone who's unconscious. I've never had to do that. Oh. Yeah, it's not all that fun. Uh, and so I'll, I'll, I'll take a couple bites of, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll eat my rations. And then I'll drink, like, half of it. And then start the process with fog of, like, feeding him and pouring it down his throat. He probably uh, doesn't need that much. As soon as fog gets a whiff of it, and as soon as the first bit touches his tongue, that jolt, fog, you're at uh, one HP, and you are conscious. Oh. Hey. Oh, everything hurts. Yeah, I know the feeling. Are we all, are we dead? Um, no. I think the pain is a good sign that we're alive. Uh, Whether that's a good thing. Eh. I wouldn't be entirely sure. Okay, well, where are we? Matt, You're please. in... Yes, his workshop that I didn't know existed. 
For, not workshop, just shop. Did, did, we, shop. did we win honorably, at least? No, not uh, really, but... Not, not exactly. Oh, well. We just, we, um... You can read, right? That's... Yes, I can read. I'm just trying to cover all my bases, because it seems like no one here can read, except for me and Phaedra and you, no. Matt's still you, in the room, you know. Charcard can read, <laughs> and so can Yilith. It's I not an insult if you can't read, it's just, it's just, I... Why do you need to know if I can read? But, you know he can read. We've read it. We've I... read things in front of us. Phaedra, it has been a long... Hour. It's been two hours. <laughs> it has been a long hour. I need Feels to like interrupt it's been like you guys. two weeks. I need to interrupt you guys. Um because I've got a question for you especially. And we're gonna go on a long walk about it. He's pointing at you, Wilhelm. Since you two are up in Adams, uh I feel safe leaving the shop in your care. Um she's in charge. I know she knows Yilif. Uh, as for you, buddy, well, I'll get your side of things later. And he gestures to the door and looks at you, Wilhelm, as if to say, let's go. Wilhelm is oh. going to... Uh, and... do I, do I notice that Will is, like, struggling a little bit, or, or does he seem to be okay? In terms of, like, where he's at, health-wise? I'm at... Uh, relatively low. <laughs> well, I'm gonna tap him on the shoulder and give him a cure. Aren't you out of slots? I am, uh, but I'm going <laughs> no. to. I'm gonna Don't burn, do this. I'm gonna no. burn my second important to automatically succeed. Oh, my, oh my big brain. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I thought you were gonna <laughs> try and like give us all heart attacks. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> like, don't summon yourself to an extra planar. Hell. <laughs> Wait, is that the full? Uh -huh. I feel like that's low. It's 2d8 plus 2. 2d8 plus 2. Huh. Yeah. That's, I got a 2 and a 5. Is it only I, plus I don't think your I add my. Yeah, I, I don't add my um, my spellcasting to it. <laughs> since I'm not dealing damage. Because it's not damage, yeah, true. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Damn itch. Okay. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, I'm over half. Okay, but but we're gonna we're gonna split that uh, thingy. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to. Uh, Wilhelm is going to leave his uh, longsword for the two, as if that would actually help. <laughs> and then follow Hez or whatever. Follow who? Jesus. <laughs> yes, you should yeah, follow Jesus. Hez. My God. Uh, Hez. Hez. We're gonna go too. find him. Oh no, no, he's not. He's he's asking you to go out first. Uh oh. Uh, then going to do that. Just okay. gonna walk outside. As you walk outside, he's not gonna fall right away. Fog Phaedra, you're both gonna see him grab something from some shelf, small, concealable, whatever it may be. It beats your passive perceptions, and he walks out to follow Wilhelm. It's... We don't see what he grabbed. No, but you see that he grabbed something. Shit. All right, what? Wilhelm. Or oh, sorry, are you gonna do something before he leaves? Pedro? No, no, I can't. All right. All right, Wilhelm. Brandon told me yesterday. What was up with Gedu's shirt, and why was it covered in blood? Is he holding something in his hand? No, you can't. He just looks normal. Gedu, I believe, was killed by orcs. Um, are you aware of the fort near here? The old ruined tower? There's two. I know of the smaller one and the bigger one. This may have been the smaller one. I'm not sure. Um, just a circle and a wall? Yeah, yeah, a little bit like that. Another um, one. We were coming back from the job that Haz gave us, and 
we stumbled upon there and we heard some screaming. Whenever we got to the tower, we found orcs. And a group of people. And the shirt that I had was, I suppose, Gedu's. Um, I had taken the head of an orc and used the shirt to wrap the head. And, uh, you can see Matt's composure is faltering a bit. And, um, and, uh, what about Richter? Let's see. How's he? <clears throat> Wilhelm, like, kind of instantly realizes that was a, that was a child. And he just shakes his head. No, Gedu's the child. <laughs> Richter's the dad. Gedu's the child? Richter's the dad? Yeah. I thought it was the other way. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's even more fucked up. Um, he's still just gonna shake his head. <sighs> well, we if I'm not sure your custom, but we burned the bodies. It was all we could do. We didn't want anything to come along and scavenge them and dishonored them I, I feared as much I I care for the elves here I do but helping the billets move out I mean that's that was a death sentence for them oh. I'm guessing has never rewarded you for the centipede cave and be quite frank, you deserve a bigger pot than I'm about to give you. He pulls Did from... Did he? No, he didn't. We were too busy interrogating him. Yeah. And he pulls oh, from his back pocket a uh, uh, little canvas uh, pouch, like a sack that's so small it might as well be a pouch. Yeah. With a tiny bit of flexible straw tying it down. Oh. This is, um... <clears throat> something I keep hidden in the shop because I don't like them cause them like cunts getting it because we need it <laughs> now, what's the point of paying taxes if you're gonna die regardless you know now I know I know your type you're gonna say oh, I can't accept it but and he holds it out right above your hand I'd rather somebody worthy take a gift from everybody in this godforsaken place than them dwarf overlords. Wilhelm is going to take it and slowly open whatever it is. The, the sack, or whatever. The bag. Uh, you, you take a peek inside and it's a uh, it's a couple coins. It's hard to tell because it's low light as um well actually... It's bright light, but there's still enough shade and wispiness of dawn to throw off your vision a bit. Thank you, Matt. Ha! <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's go. Let's go see how they're doing right now. Yeah. Before Before we go, I just need to ask: What happens next? Well. I believe ya. Don't know about the other two, but um, I think you find Yilith and you find Matilda. Um. Also, what is your last name? Don't got one. Matt Inkeep. Oh no, whatever fits. Ewan has her brothers. Yes. Gods know what? <laughs> what? Nothing. He's gonna uh, <laughs> walk along. <clears throat> what the fuck? 
<laughs> you guys get ahead of yourselves. What in the world? <laughs> that like that beautiful moment just ruined by some weird ass <laughs> schizophrenic <laughs> goddamn connections. Like what the hell? I wanted to ask earlier, but like Oh. Everybody has a last name. What the fuck you to No. No, not no. In the olden days. Dude, people's you last name. Your last name was your was your job. Yeah. That's why like we're like we're like Fletcher or like Smith. That wasn't from. your last name though. That was the title you went by. And that I know, but eventually evolved. it formed into your last name. Yeah, we're we're much yeah, before eventually. that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like actually no, you know what? We shouldn't actually poke fun at you because um there's places that in is, this that world. That is fair. That is fair. There's, like, places in this world where last names are everything, and every fucker has one that, like, is 20, 20 hyphens, like, omega hyphenated. So, it depends on the region, but here in Krasner, or rather, in this section near the Valaki, it's kind of, you know, classical England style. Or classical uh, London. Just or, bullying, yeah, England. just bullying the kid over here. Just yeah, so many struggles <laughs> in his life. We're bullying the rich kid. Who has <laughs> you don't know how hard it is to wake up. And your shoes aren't already on your feet. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, well, while Poor Wilhelm, walk back no to killed for him here. Well, while uh, Matt and Wilhelm were having a chitty chatty that ended weirdly, um, Fog, Phaser, <laughs> what you doing inside the Bildong? Hey, well, look, I get it. You found shit's gone down. Will's got business to take care of. But could somebody please explain to me? Why he asked me if I could read? Um, the journal. What journal? Oh shit, you were out. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of unconscious for like whatever it was you were doing. I don't even know how I got here. Yeah, no, we carried you after the fight. Um, really? so Matilda, I, I, I just, I hand him in the journal. I just hand him the journal. Oh my god. This it's is Matilda. a fucking binder. All right, jeez. I'll start reading it and shut up. Wait, I'm gonna wait. assume that you reading it Eat is. Eat while you're reading. Okay. Sorry, what? Eat while you're reading. Eat what? Is there like food around here or something? I give him. Oh shit! Yeah, we we don't actually have our rations. <laughs> we didn't have our pack. Those are still in the attic. Mm hmm. We did have our pack because we were leaving. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were. So eat your food. Huh. Yeah, all right. I'll eat a ration. All right, and so while you guys are chomming on some deluxe food, uh, mm. I'm going to say that that's, you know, the time reading and all yeah. that. And Fog, you're a fast reader. We'll say you read it all by the time they come back. Yeah. Matt enters the building. Wilhelm enters the building with the uh, sun rising as he steps through. Um, scene is yours. Um, question. What hmm. did the thingy do? You'll find out in a bit. Oh, shit. Well, this is, uh, this is something. Um, yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize that, uh, she knew this many languages. I'm a little off put. That's what you're focusing on. Well, yeah, I got. I had to translate some of these, so that a little of my attention went to uh, looking at that. <laughs> I even asked you a few of the the dryad ones, since you know I don't quite know all of it yet. Well, right, yeah. Yet, but uh... huh, this is good. This is real good. Um, I don't think good is the word I would use for the contents of that journal. I think it would be, considering I thought that Matilda was probably the dangerous, most dangerous person that we could encounter here. Looks like she's not, and it's just the orcs. Fantastic. Hopefully, killing her will actually be easy. Killing her? Oh, jeez, no. I. 
that's probably not going to be as very easy. But it looks like we do have at least one way we can do it. Um, I gotta read over the thing again because I forgot it. <laughs> if if she goes back in the tavern, the uh, little one might uh, eat her up. Oh well, no, we we killed Teague. No, no, not not Teague. Um, the the other one, the one that didn't have a name. Wait, there's another the one. Oh. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't uh, know that's where we were inside. Uh, no, 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 you mean, you mean, has this other son? Yeah. Yeah, that's No, the... he's, he's gone now. Oh, yeah. You guys killed both of them? <clears throat> we didn't kill him, we freed him, we ended the haunting. Alright, so... alright, full stop. Yeah. Has his I... other son. What? Yes. Yes, the, the other one, uh, Callum? So I suppose he didn't really have the name at the time of his death. Matilda killed him too and he was haunting the cellar. Well, uh, Teague. Inside the furnace. Teague killed him. Yeah, Teague. He, uh, he, Teague, not... He, <laughs> I'm gonna stop. He drained okay. his younger brother of, of life in order to sustain himself before the younger one was able to fully I guess develop or be named at the very least so he instead turned into a spirit that haunted the tavern for a time um <clears throat> I and he's gonna roll an insight because you know he just do that I can't say that I know exactly what you mean by any of this, but, um... Well, he was, uh, madness. lying dormant within the, uh, locked door that I believe you and has locked together. Oh, that was in... when we were first building the inn. Yeah, yeah, he, he was in the furnace. Whoa. Oh, well, <sighs> I don't understand a whole lot of what you said, but the more I hear you guys talk, the more I agree with that one thing you said. Uh, probably killing Matilda, or getting rid of her, whatever it may be. Yep. I mean, if she's really that powerful... She you was. Think she might be able to fix some of the stuff that's happened? No, nothing that's no. been done have can to... be undone. Can she fix it? Maybe. Will she fix it? I mean... I know wizards and witchesses, they, their spell books are worth a lot. Maybe you make a deal, you give that book back, and she fixes the problems. This isn't this a spell is not, book, it's a, no. it's a diary. It's a journal. Oh. Yeah. But, um. She's not the type, I believe, to have one of those. She didn't cause too much of the town's problems. It was more as his family. Phaedra, you would be trying to gesture with your hands as you're talking, right? Uh, uh yeah. Um, do gestures have been very slow and sluggish? Because, you know, you're absolutely drained. But when you start talking and moving around a bit more, you feel a bit more strength come back to your body. Um, lose a level of exhaustion, please. Ooh! Fun, fun, fun. Hey, now you can walk again. It's I, still I halved. Probably. I suppose the easiest way to explain this, Matt, would be that Matilda was once part of a group of similarly minded creatures, not people, creatures, who would uh, use their magic to sustain themselves to feed to do to sow chaos wherever they went Matilda was like that once but through her time pretending to be what she was she lost a lot of what power she once had and now she hides within the forest to uh, protect herself Uh, 
I'm sorry to all of you, but I am I'm piecing together bit by bit. Um, but it's as you understand, it is a lot to take in. Yep. And as he says that, the sun is rising more, and you hear in the distance, or not in the distance, you hear right outside, Oh, Mob! Ah, uh, good boy! Not tracking mud in! Wish you'd do that at my place. And Brandon enters the room. Oh! I thought you'd take him in the back room! Back room, you know, I didn't want one of them to bump their head and, and all that, you know? Yeah! Um, place... Uh, I didn't clean it, but I closed the door. I don't think anyone will go in there. Um, how are you three doing? It's fucking fantastic. I can Thanks. move my arms now. Fog is awake. I feel slightly better. Uh, my, my wife, since the orcs came to town, she thought it'd be a good idea to keep all of her herbs and remedies and stuff. Uh, in the cellar. Uh, if one of you wants to come with me, whoever has a know-how about herbs and what it, uh, we can pick some things out. Maybe they can help, because she still look pretty bad. Is, uh, your wife around? Uh, she's, she's still at the place. She did a lot of washing the other day. She's pretty beat. Can she read? <laughs> Uh, she can understand, like, the pictures in herbalism books. I'll, I'll go with you, Brandon, if that's alright. Oh, alright! Uh, uh, yeah! And he looks at Matt, and Matt gives Brandon a nod. Brandon does a sort of, like, side nod, and he stands with the doorway open to you, Fog. Well, um, I don't know how soon you all will be able, but finding has might be a priority. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I'll head out. I disagree with that, and this is right as you and Brandon are leaving, Fog, so you're still going to hear this because you haven't fully left the building. I can try and find has. I'm less likely to lose my head doing so. You guys yeah. need to find Yilith. Considering we almost killed him last time we saw him, I think Matt's got a point. We didn't almost kill him. We didn't, we even, didn't attack even him. We didn't even hurt him. The worst we thing we did was put him in a chair. Room. I held him back. I'm he was going talking. to kill you. I'm not talking physically. Yeah. You know what? That, you know, that's a good point. Yeah, Matt, right. where can... Where... Uh, uh. Is the room still available? What? The attic. The attic. The attic. All right, who Do are I you mean? asking this to, Wilhelm? I'm asking Matt. Can we still sleep in the attic? Essentially. <laughs> he looks he at just you. Just woke up. Yeah, he looks at you like really confused after all the shit that you said has just happened. Really, you're gonna ask that? Like, he's... We uh, need somewhere to, like... I don't want to, like... They're just going to throw us out in the street? I mean, I, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Are we going to be banished, or...? I guess you got to ask Ulri that one. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, Ulri is the... Oh, shit, he won. Yep. <laughs> I have to poop with Ulri again. I've... He might give you a pass. Yeah. Yeah, no, he won't. Okay, never mind. Uh, is it about the same time as when he started cooking before? Yep, yep. it's just yeah. about that time, and you're all about to go to the inn. I'm gonna go see Ulri. Well, can you even can you even walk? I I I'm sorry. I, I, did, I did stand fortune... up. <laughs> you stand up. Uh, doing so, you, you almost fall over because of all the clutter, clutteriness in the room. But, um, no, you're standing. 
forgot that my speed is 15 now. Okay. Stretch a little bit. Yeah. I think I can. Oh, now. That was... Okay. I should think pretty great. What was what was that, Matt? It was some kind of sad thing, right? Something that his I wife... I have not been taking notes this entire time, shit. <laughs> it's just a thing that his wife makes. Yeah, she, she does it whenever Mob uh, eats something bad and can barely stand. Hmm. Oh, pretty damn great. But speaking so of guess... herbal remedies, we really should get a move on. Yeah, let's move. Alright, uh, Brandon's gonna walk with you, Mob's gonna come too, and, um, is the door open? No. Oh, right, that's... Oh, no, yeah. that's enter, not... enter, go. Go, 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 go. Get inside. Then I will... Get inside the hell in. The hell is. We at least start heading over to the kitchen. <laughs> oh boy. Please don't. Wait, why is. What do you mean, please don't? Wait, Wilhelm, what? Oh, he meant. I was super confused. I didn't know where uh, Fog and. Oh, uh, they were going. <laughs> is someone in there? <laughs> oh god. Guess who? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Good morning, Master Uldery. Uh, he doesn't respond to you. He's tending to the stove. For the furnaces. Stoves? I don't know what they are. They're a mix of the two. I'll head on over. Oh! It's you! And you can see right on the table that you passed with a there's where there's the meat cleaver, the centipede pincers are on the table. Oh, right. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot I left him. Uh... Yeah, right. Anyway, have fun, <laughs> you two. All right, and fog. You know where I'm gonna put you. I will be with you in a second. Uh, so, you know, I'm just going to actually move your token as, way, as well. <laughs> All right, is your token in the basement right now? No, not at the moment. All right, I'll just yoink you in there. Uh, but I'm going to do a bit of Fog and Ulri, or I'm going to do a bit of a Phaedra and Ulri for the first moment here. Yeah. Oh! You should not cook today are you sure that was that was our deal for staying in the attic well i can see it in your bones you're shaking can barely stand there's no point follow your friend you might be useful to him down there. Okay. Thank you, Master Ulri. I will follow Fog, I guess. All right. And, um, Wilhelm, what are you doing before I move Phaedra down there? What's the, what's the drink situation behind here? <laughs> There are a lot of empty tankards. They look a bit crusty in certain spots. Um, and by tankards, I mean wooden tankards. No metal to them. Uh, and there's uh, two barrels. Looks like they could be casks of ale or whatever fluids inside of them. Uh, but yeah, that's the alcohol situation at the bar. Uh, have, you, <clears throat> have either of them been like opened before? Uh, looks like it. Yeah, both. Okay, uh, also, how much was it, the money was in the pouch? Um, you gonna count now? Yeah. 31 silver. 14 copper. 
and a whole gold piece. All of these are ores, the ores currency, the cosmite currency. Whole gold piece. Um, Wilhelm is going to put a, a silver on the, uh, and try and pour himself a tankard of, or a flagon, whatever, of whatever is in the <laughs> uh, kegs. All right. Um, tell you what, I'm going to move the players down to the cellar and leave you up here, okay? Yeah. Uh, Brandon is down there, isn't he? Uh, yeah, he's he's at the table. You can have a chat with him in just a. Oh, second. I thought he was. I thought he was down, showing them where the stuff is. No, no, no. He's he's sort of just sat down. He's he's a bit shaken off. You guys haven't done any like wellness checks with him. Um. All right, you two. You're down here now. Proceed. Oh, he let you come in. <laughs> yeah, he told me I shouldn't be cooking today. Uh, I guess that's fair. It's in here. Don't too much about herbs. Help I will be. Well, uh, any help would be helpful since I don't know everything about them. Not exactly my uh, area of expertise, but I'll give it a shot. All right. Well, um, herbs, spices, all of, all around. Um. How can you describe what you're looking for or how you're looking for them? If you're using any tools or things to gauge stuff? Uh, or, are you, or are you just sort of like getting it all and just saying fuck it and putting it in a pouch? Let's see. I think I'll start preparing um, just maybe like a really, really basic poultice. Mm -hmm. uh, to see if, like, I can create like a, a, at least a little soothing salve to to make the pain a little more bearable uh, for Phaedra and I. Uh, yeah. And I want to see if I can use uh, some of the stuff here to do that. Um, yeah. Um. So you can do herbalism's kit or alchemist tools. Um. Oh, sorry, how to say it. You can do an intelligence or a wisdom check and either and add either your alchemy proficiency or your herbalism proficiency. If you have alchemy tools, DC's way, way, way lower. If you have herbalism tools, DC's moderately lower. Okay. Uh, so I have an alchemist kit proficiency. I don't have the tools That's fine. with that. Uh, but I imagine there's probably a couple of things here that I can use to, to help prepare something like that. Not really. All you see are maybe like a few forceps for when you want to select a thing at a time. That's about it. No, no jars, no vi no empty jars, no empty vials, nothing like that. No um alembics, nothing like that. Okay, we're gonna have to do this very, very rudimentarily. Uh, Phaedra, could you go upstairs and ask Ulri to bring me uh, a blade? Uh, maybe a small, clean bowl, and uh, something for poor. See, see if um, Matt hasn't poured any ale in one of those tankards yet. That might be helpful. Maybe a spoon, ladle, something like that. Tankard, ladle, blade, and bowl. Spoon, bowl. Yes. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll take out my one of my daggers. Just put it on the table. Blade oh, done. And um, try and find something that has a wide, um, I guess, base. Uh, uh, something that I can grind with. Mortalium pestle. Yeah, okay. I, I, I don't know if he'd he'd have something like that. Maybe um, maybe a mallet. You might. You can break the mallet and then use the mallet pot. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'll head back. Oh, oh, oh! Let me out of this room. Um, Phaser, roll, roll a raw intelligence check for me. Oh. It's disadvantage because of the exhaustion, though, so. Yep. <laughs> Let's see how stupid I am today. Goddamn! Hey. 
you know, bad. you know that literally every item, with the exception of a tankard with some ale in it, can be found in that uh, like scrap drawer that's down here. Oh, okay. So I'll go to the scrap drawer. Actually, let's put a go asking Ulri. I know there's some some of that stuff over here, and I'll you know go and find those things. Yeah. I figured I've all, I already went through that drawer, so I figured. It'll be pretty easy to, yeah, not yeah. drawer basket. While, while she's grabbing that, can I look through the herb selection that I have here and pick out um, what I believe would make the best salve? They all look like they have he like not healing properties, but positive. They have some medicinal effect. They have. Least. They all have positive medicinal. Uh, properties it's not like a guy's keeping poison ingredients down here you know like this is yeah you know they're all they're all good so okay so i'll, I'll start picking out a few uh no no more than four hmm. all right um no more than like four separate ingredients yeah i, I don't want to over prepare okay yeah, uh, but I'll, I'll I'll get a sufficient amount to um, grind down into something that we can like try, try and use on ourselves. Okay. Um. Well, the grind, the actual making something. Roll me that check from before. Okay. Sure. Uh, this will be alchemist kit with intelligence. Let's see. Thirteen. I mean, you create a quite aromatic creation um you don't really have anything to wrap it for a poultice but maybe you can mix some fluid with it and create a salve uh if i can you run upstairs grab um uh see if Ulri has any milk or just anything uh starchy maybe Fog, okay. I, I don't want to ask you to make an intelligence check, because I know you'll remember this because of how traumatic it was. You know there's a barrel that's filled with Oh, clay. that's right. Uh, oh, okay, actually, I'll tell Phaedra. Phaedra, um, just around the corner there, there's a barrel of uh, something that I think will likely be very, very useful. You are a bastard. <laughs> Do I think that he's bullshitting me? You can roll an insight check, but... Fuck yes, I am. <laughs> I mean, you, you can always do that against each other sort of thing. I, I'm like, no, I don't like this kid's tone. Oh shit, it's it's a disadvantage that I don't... Yep, no, it did get worse. Well, ah! No, Fog, no, Fog, you're not lying, though. You're not lying. You're you're right. Technically, I'm not. Yeah, yeah no, you're, you're right. telling the truth. Yeah, you're... you're yeah. It, it's the same It's the same modifier either way. Yeah. Uh, Phaedrit, you can't tell. Your head's just, like, just throbbing with... You know, you need... You need rest you need something it's if he is lying do you even have the strength to put up with it no so doesn't really matter if this is something gross i'm gonna punch you it's not gross it's i don't know what do you mean no idea what you're talking about and i'll i'll uh open up the the barrel i guess um or like so it's a barrel where the lid is wedged down because of some cloth in the like the in the nooks in, in the like the seal um so you either pry it open or you puncture a hole in the barrel and and drain whatever you need what are you gonna do i'll uh i'll pry it open i guess uh. i want to hold like the the collar of my shirt over my nose as I do because I don't trust this guy. <laughs> the collar of your shirt, okay. So you're trying to pull it open with one hand while you're exhausted. Roll me a raw strength check with oh, disadvantage. No. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea for me to say that. <laughs> okay, it's, it's a DC <laughs> it 6. So it, it's, it's a DC 6. The only reason you actually have to roll is because you have a negative strength modifier. If you didn't have that, you, it's just be, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, either way, I do not. I do not. <laughs> <sighs> Disadvantage. Literally missed it by one. This I is... rolled a 6. This I rolled a 6. <sighs> Jesus Christ. 
Christ. Okay. Um, you, you tug. Wait, you have. Uh, you tug on it, and wasting my inspiration on this. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. You're tugging on this, and as you pull, cloth slips out of your hand, and you just you start to hit your face a bit. Um, no damage, nothing, but you're pretty weak, and you know it, and you might feel a bit embarrassed, if not to fog to yourself. Kit. I'll do it with both hands this time. Uh, it's not a matter of how many hands you use, it's a matter of, like, oh, you know, you have disadvantage because you're exhausted. Fog. Yeah. I can't fucking get it. Oh, man. That would have been such a good joke. Alright, I'll get it open. Okay, I'm gonna go grab a tanker from upstairs. Sure, sure. Phaedra, when you're upstairs, do you want to interact or talk with anybody or say anything? And Wilhelm, uh, same question to you. Actually, no. What am I talking about? We're gonna go over to uh, Wilhelm right now. Oops, sorry. Let me leave you down there. We're gonna go to Wilhelm right now while you're up here, Phaedra. Uh, so, what? Wilhelm, what have you been doing? Is going to... <clears throat> pour another is going to look at Brandon. He's going to pour another tankard of ale, and he's going to walk over to the um, table he is at and sit down, like across from him. So you have two tankards. Wilhelm. Hello, hey, Brandon. Will, can you guys hear me? Hello? Yes. Uh, I can hear you. Okay. I was going to say, like, Wilhelm, do you have two tankards with you? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Um. Oh, hey, Wilhelm. <laughs> Are you okay? No. Wilhelm is going to, like, shove the... Or going to put the... One of the tankards in front of Brandon. What, uh... What is wrong? Look, I... I, uh... I appreciate the gesture, but... You know, trying to not drink... <laughs> Though I think this would be the time to do it. I would think so, too. Well, early in the morning... Heck of a way to start the day, huh? I think your morning has been rough enough that you deserve this. Just got his 10 year chip. What's a. I'm, I'm assuming what the issue was was has his room. Well, that, but also. You never told me why you had Gedu's shirt and why it was covered in blood. I'm sorry, I I forgot. It's been a morning. <laughs> um, how well do you know the area around here? Uh, I know how to get to certain places. Do Let's... you know of the uh? ruined tower oh yeah yeah that was the thing that um cosmites it's actually why I, how i <laughs> uh, you can see that he wants to say stuff but he's a bit overwhelmed okay um get i we We were on our way back from a job that Haz had told us to do. He was a bit uninformed on the situation. I wanted to kill him, but I didn't. Um, and we stumbled upon the tower. There we found orcs and a group of people. In that group was... Gedu. And 
I suppose his father. Oh! As well as a few others. Um, the orcs had... They had killed them. Uh, Brandon raises his hands up and just puts his face to his hands. He looks... Yeah, he's pretty distraught at the news. Well, I'm just gonna, like, sit back and take a drink. Phaedra, feel free to walk up and get that alcohol now. Yeah, I'll, I'll have... Oh, oh, oh. I'm too zoomed in. Oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna walk up and I'm grab. Wait, Fog said an empty takeard or without ale, right? Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna grab an empty tankard and then I'm gonna grab another one and fill it up and take it downstairs with me. So you're They're taking, over there you're taking having two? a moment, so I'm just gonna... I'll take two tankards, one of them full, one of them empty. Alright, then. One is for me. One is for whatever <laughs> fog is cooking up. <laughs> All right, well, back to the cellar you go. Back to the cellar you go. Um, <clears throat> we are in the cellar. Phaedra comes back to you. Fog, you were able to get the way. Um, yeah. I'll say the amount of time it took for her to go do the thing is the amount of time it took you to open up the thing and get the way. Yeah. So... She's coming back just as you've collected your sauce. Yeah, and I'm going back in. Oh, thanks for the drink. Oh. No, that's mine. <laughs> and I put down the empty one uh, on on this table here. You know, we could be related, and that was probably the most cold-blooded thing that you've ever done. <laughs> uh. <sighs> All right, I'll get to work. I'm going to try and mix in the way to my uh, concoction to uh, get it to set a little more. And then I'll ask Phaedra if... Uh, can you actually see if you can get some cloth? Uh, something to secure this to someone? Yeah, there's a thingy. I will take my drink with me. Shit. <laughs> and go into the... Uh, I'll, I'll go to the fabric stash and find one that's what what kind of cloth do you need? Like Um something not too thin so that it doesn't, you know, bleed all the way through, but not something too light so that it, you know just I just just get something thick. Alright. I'll go to the um fabric stash and try to find um I should probably move my token. Um uh and I'll Look for something kind of thick, but um, you know, not not the best fabric. Not something that's like roll. I mean, there's a way to instantly find something, but there's a way to find something better. Roll an investigation. Oh shit! Gotta love exhaustion, bro. Yeah. Where's there it is. Nope. Six. Well, roll again because of the disadvantage. You might get a nat one. No, no, I rolled a twelve and a six. Oh, wow! That yeah. only I only heard one ding. Um. Yeah, I I I just like clicked it twice instead of. Nice. Uh, well, you find a piece of fabric. It looks like a a nice linen, um, very well woven. But there's enough spaces between a couple of the uh, column threads that it, it will work for a poultice or allow some air to go in and out, sort of thing. Okay. I'll, uh, is it like, how, how much is there? Because, like, do I have to, like, cut off a section of it? 
there's like eight square inches. Yeah, okay, that's fine then. I didn't know if like it was just scraps of fabric down here or if it was like a couple bolts of fabric. It's so. bits and bobs, a mixture of both. Okay. Do, 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 do. Back over here. I went too far. Great. Yeah. Uh, actually, can you run up, run some water into that tankard? <laughs> I just, I just look at him. What? Are you making me run around on purpose? No. I'll take the empty tankard. And I'll go upstairs a fucking gen. Is she taking her... Yes, I am. Holidays? Shit, okay. <laughs> Wait, Fog, did you specify you need, like, fresh, clean water, or just whatever we'll do? Uh, I, I told her run some water <laughs> in it. So, I'll leave that to Faye's interpretation. Wait. <laughs> Wait, do you just want it clean or something? I, I want you to fill it with clean water. I don't want you to clean the tankard. Okay, I'll go upstairs and ask Ulri if there's any water. Clean, like, by clean water you mean fresh water. Is that what you mean, Fog? Yes. Phaedra, before even going upstairs, you know that fresh water is, like, is from streams and and rivers and a well okay. if there is one and you haven't seen a single well through all the places you've trekked in this land like where do you expect me to go to get this water down oh, to the shit. creek they don't have a well do they no they don't all right, We're in the middle of fucking then. nowhere no i'm not going to drink it i swear <laughs> i do not believe I do not believe you. Scout song. Pinky promise. Alright. You have younger siblings, you know how unbreakable this is. Uh, yeah, sure. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll hand him the tankard. Okay. Uh, I am going to uh, dip two fingers into it and then I'm just going to dab the uh, cloth with alcohol and then I'll, I'll turn to Phaedra alright where's it hurt um everywhere pick a place I'll uh, wrap. I'll uh, point to I don't remember where the bite from Teague was but I'll point to that it's on your ankle yeah Really? All right. I'll I'll hop up on the table. Yeah, thanks. Pop my leg up on it. Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna use the cloth to rub the alcohol into it. I'm not gonna warn her that it's mm -hmm. gonna sting. And then once I do that, I'll uh, apply the poultice to the ankle and then wrap it. Like wrapping the poultice down to her ankle. Yeah. Alright, that is the correct way to do it. I didn't think you'd do that. Oh, well, it's one in 1 to 4 hours, so in 4 hours you'll gain 4 HP. Okay, actually, that's kind of worth. And then I, um, if, if there's enough cloth remaining, if not, I'll have her go look out for more. Uh, I, I would like to do the same thing to myself uh, along my torso, where I was struck by, the, or was it my back? I forget. Well, it was a uh, spectral creature, so... Oh, true true you weren't really struck it was more like I, you felt your insides the life force get rended through you mm -hmm. i do recall that i was bleeding though uh, if i recall it was like all internal damage internal yeah. damage okay okay yeah. then i don't but really i'm not have, sure because i was confused i don't know i don't really have a use for doing it on myself at this stage well a uh, deep since... a deep inhalation might suffice uh we got a furnace over there. Uh, is the tankard steel, iron? Am I able to tell? Wood. Uh, probably definitely not. It's wood. Oh shit. Okay. 
Uh, that's not gonna work. I take my alcohol back. Shit, alright. Uh, well, I'm going to cast, um, Conjure on the, uh, poultice itself and warm it up a little bit. And I'm just going to take a little bit and, um, put it right underneath my nose. Uh, just dab it on right there so that I'm constantly smelling it. And then I'll wipe it back off into the bowl. And then I would like to take some leftover cloth and seal, uh, wrap the bowl in that. And then I'll put what remains in my pack. In 1d4, and so in three hours, you will gain one HP. Okay. <sighs> Herbalism, so strong. <laughs> um, what was the last bit you said? You said something about putting stuff somewhere? Yeah, I'll, I'll wrap up what remains of the poultice and I'll put it in my pack. Okay, and are you going to take any other herbs with you or anything like that? Um, I'll, I'll take... Uh, are, are these like packaged in, in jars, in uh, like other uh, cases? Like what? Um, some of them are sort of like in little boxes, just out for display, almost just like loose. in a shop. Yeah. Just loose. Okay. Uh, some of them are padded down with a cloth right above them, so you remove the cloth to see what's below. Um, very few things are in jars or cases. Of the things that are, there's like only one thing, like a stem of this or a sprig of that. Okay. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll, um, before I wrap the poultice, I will just throw in atop of it some of the more common things that are found in here. Like the loose stuff. Okay. In that case, I'm going to reveal a few things. Uh, let's reveal this one. Let's reveal Prickly Ash. Why not? You've read about it. Uh, and who could forget about Clary and Wormwood? Let's get those. Are the last ones. All right. Um, I'll say that you have a half pound pouch of herbs and ingredients. Okay. Uh, half pound. Or quarter pound. Half's too much. Okay. And actually, I'm not up sure to you. How much, are you. how much are you taking? That's actually up to you. I'll, I'll take a half pound. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I, I wouldn't know. I, I wouldn't just innately know their gold cost, would I? Gods know. Okay, yeah. That would be like an appraisal that... check, which you could add if you have proficiency with herbalism or alchemist, you could do that, but that would be for each individual one. Gotcha. Yeah. I do have some in my uh, component pouch, but those are very, very special ones. So. All right. Uh, I think we've got all we need here. Are you feeling right. better? Uh, eh, kind of. I'll hand her back Thank her tanker. You, by the way. Have a, have a I already took that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh you you're welcome. You never did tell me um what what happened. What do you mean? Well, I uh, it was just Wilhelm and there was a you know, some sort of spectre, some ghost thing and whatever got you down. I was an idiot. Thought I could talk down much like. So it it just caught you by surprise, that's all. Oh no. So I saw it. it. I pulled my weapons and I just tried to talk to it like it was. Like it was actually a child and not a monster. And then it got me. You have a good heart, Phaedra. <laughs> Sorry, it. Sorry, I almost lost it. <laughs> so, so, just so I have this right, Wilhelm, he took on both. 
creatures. Hold yeah. On. I owe that man. I owe that man a lot. Shit. Keeps having very neat places. I'm very. Yeah, really. You know what? Maybe we should keep him around. It's very handy. <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> let's go back up. Yeah. Uh, fog just rolled you your second inspiration. It's a D twelve. Woo. Woo! Hype! Uh, well, I'm moving everybody back. Oh, look, you're actually in the stairs. Yes. That is... <laughs> I'm alive. That's weird. Yeah. No, let, let, let me move you out of the stairs. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Alright, uh, Wilhelm. What have you been doing this whole time? Just drinking silently as Brandon is... Almost weeping. Wilhelm. Shit, I keep on forgetting my, my mic is muted by me just lifting up the actual <laughs> mic. <laughs> Wilhelm was like almost done with the entire uh, tankard flagon. Um, whatever. The cup. And um, he's kind of just been like sitting there silently just letting... Brandon, get everything out. Alright. Well, in that case, I'll say that Fog and Phaedra are just here then, so. Seen is everyone's right now. I go find Wilhelm. You see Wilhelm and Mob sort of leaning against the seat. Brandon in his seat, his elbows on the table, his face falling into his hands. He's about as depressed as a man can be, or at least appear to be. <clears throat> Brandon, did, did you know them well? Uh... Yeah, um, Illy helped with Gedu's delivery, uh, Richter's wife fell ill short after, Illy was caring for the babe, because, you know, babes are more delicate, mm -hmm. and I was caring for his wife with him, I wish it were the other way around, I'm not too good with medicines, because she, uh, she didn't do, well, she didn't make it under my care, or Richter's. I felt bad about it ever since, and I was gonna apologize to him during the solstice, let him know how bad I feel, maybe walk to the gray with her, but, um, might be in poor taste because he's found a new woman now, so... I guess I'll never know. Hmm. What, uh, woman? What that have been? Oh, it's his. It sounds messed up, I know, but um, his old wife's sister. Was she um? Was she a uh, elven? <laughs> no. Human. Yeah. Have you seen her? Uh, saw her last night talking to Haz. She, uh, looked distraught. She, I guess she had a reason to be. Aren't <laughs> we so? I think, um, Brandon, we have a few of their things. Um, I think some of the things we took from the area we I'm not sure of your custom but we burned the bodies just so they would have some sort of passing I suppose uh, not not everything 
Um, yeah. I'm gonna walk over to Brandon and place on the table uh, Gedu's toy wooden sword. Maybe you should give that to uh, the mother on the solstice like you intended. Maybe that'll bring you some closure at least. I, I think it's better if you three keep them. And out of you three, probably better that Wilhelm gives it to her. Oh. Yeah. Wilhelm quickly drinks the rest of his. <laughs> I'll slide it over to Wilhelm. You, you don't have <clears throat> the drink. I'm holding the... <laughs> What? Oh, no, oh, no, the sword. The, the sword. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I got confused. Phaedra. Again. Phaedra. <laughs> oh. You pay attention. Look. What's What's the point of taking notes if you got the attention span of a goldfish missing a chromosome? Hey. Supposed to be the point of taking it's notes. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Have... My My parents are goldfish. It's not what? what I have ADHD, uh, motherfucker. I'm actually confused. How big is the toy sword? Oh, it's it's like the size of the small. dagger. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's it's like a quarter pound. Or how much? How yeah. much did you say it weighed? Fog. How much was in your inventory? It, it was three quarters of a pound. Oh uh, yeah. So three quarters. So you know, three quarters of a pound. So, yeah. Basically, a wooden dagger. Okay. With a bit of yellow paint for the handle. Yay. Yeah. Well, um, kind of like looks a bit fondly at it, like. Oh, I used to have one of these. Anyway. Um, he's just going to... What should our next move be? He looks too fog in Phaedra. We can't do much in the shape we're in right now. We're going to need some time before we can move out. We need to find Yilith as soon as possible. We do. Matt yeah, said he no. would go find Haz. I might be able to convince Matilda to leave. Oh. I don't... As much as what she's done has hurt the people here, I don't think killing her is the best option. I might have a better one. I need you to explain. The reason that I'm here in the first place was to strike a deal with her. Uh, she has something that I want, or at least the knowledge that I want. But maybe she doesn't have to give it to me. If I can ask her to leave and guarantee that none of us will go after her, I can provide her with some place to stay. Possibly. Or at least a better shot than what she's got right now. She'll betray you the second she gets the chance. She won't. When she makes a deal with someone, she doesn't break it. Oh, do you know this? Says as much as in the journal. I understand her to some degree. She's not the type. She'll honor her word given. Well, I'm just gonna, like, straighten himself. When will you two be ready to travel? I can be ready in an hour. Phaedra, I don't know. She could take some I... time. I can move walk i can travel but we'll have to go slow since you've all ate and done light activity since then i'm gonna say that you can do what you would you know all the stat stuff you would do as if you'd taken a short rest thank fuck okay it dies nice <laughs> uh, i'm not laughing i'm not laughing yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm laughing. All right. <laughs> uh, hang on, hang on. Hang All on. right. You want to know something worse? 
I'm. Oh my god, it. I don't even get all nine of those hit points. I know, because you're half. Point max is half. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I'm laughing. I am at seven hit points, y'all. <laughs> also, Wilhelm, or, um, Fog, you're at, a uh, 14, not 12, because you're at one. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then you'll gain one soon, and so then you're yeah. adding plus 12, so you'll be at 14. Yep. All right. I'm at Ooh. seven. There you go. Yeah. So you're you're at full, aren't you, Wilhelm? Yeah. Because then you would have gained. Seven. I'm. I, I'm at more than full. I can't gain anything else. I'm trying to decipher what the second sentence is. When you roll a hit die to regain hit points, the minimum number of hit points you regain from the roll equals twice your constitution. So, modifier. so if you roll like a one on your d10 for your hit dice and you add your con, it's and it's like four. Uh, then uh, you can you instead regain um, since your con is plus three you instead regain six hit points instead of four hit yeah. points. Okay, so yeah, the low so the lowest I can get is six. Yes. Basically, yeah. That would have. The highest you can get is fifteen, which you. It doesn't matter. I didn't get all of this. <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm just messing with you, buddy. Um. Oh, I should ask. Um. When we when we mark off a death save, does that go away at the end of a long rest or a short rest? Long rest. Long rest, got it. Cool. Well, if it's all the same to you, Mob and I are going to head out. This talk of death and curses and deals, it's a bit too much for me. I, I wish you guys luck, and I... Hope things end well. Brandon. If you ever want to settle down in a safer place, I don't know if he ever will. I sense that you were born here and that you like this town. If you ever want to go somewhere else, go to the land of the Von Kriegs in a Bray Runt, or Bray, and tell them that Wilhelm Von Krieg sent you. That's a nice offer and all, but um... <laughs> There's something my Da once said. You know, storms always come. You can't outrun them. But if you see it through, you might get to see the clear so skies. Just keep it in your thoughts. Will do, Wilhelm. Uh, you and you two take care. And he's going to get up and start walking out. You too, Brent. Mob follows as well. <sighs> All right. You know that Yelith is in the wetlands. She's trying to solve the orc situation by herself. Not by herself entirely. I mean, she has people. Yeah. No. Just her. Matt said by herself. Oh, Jesus. Who? Uh, let's, hope, <laughs> let's hope she's just camped out back there and not. <laughs> <laughs> I just caught on to it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, who? Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, you know, Jesus, that, that, that guy. That guy. Uh, yeah, the yeah. guy. <laughs> I'm, you know, if this if this show ever gets like if I ever get more than a hundred views, I'm gonna get one comment saying, "Jesus, how dare you!" I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck. Thanks, will help. I do it all the time. <laughs> well, uh, Jesus Matilda's... Christ, whoever that is. <laughs> Matilda, Matilda's forest is between us and the wetlands. We can try and navigate our way through. I, I imagine Matilda should... might try and prevent us from getting there, or she might welcome us. I don't know how much influence she has over the place. 
I don't think we should go to Matilda right now. Um, I just remembered we owe yeah. her... We have a debt to her. We owe her three answers, and you owe her an extra one. Because you had to pet the cat. Uh, listen. I thought the cat was, was, was perhaps some sort of trick or magic. It wasn't. It was just a cat. I do not regret petting the cat. I think that one might have been a joke. Um, I imagine that my dealings with her might absolve us of those answers she seeks. Though, maybe not entirely. Maybe Fog, you do know that you are going in there with a target on you. She could just kill you outright, and we would be helpless to stop her. I don't think you kill the person that owes you money, right? Not unless they don't pay. As long as we have something she wants, she won't kill us. That is... I don't trust her not to kill us if, in order to get what she wants. What she wants turns out to be freedom and a way to break her curse. She will gladly kill us to do it. If you want to go in there, I suppose I will follow. But I do not recommend it. I think we need to go around. I don't think we can. can... I don't think we can skip out on this opportunity because we might not get another one. I I mean, she, you, you know, she is pretty well informed. If she learns of what happened here, uh, there's no telling what she could do. She probably at least knows that he and Callum are no longer here. And we know that it's not going to be safe with Yelif either. Especially if she's going against orcs. We might be able to get at least a little bit of help from Matilda if we go through her. Though if it's... But if we go through her and she attacks us, then we will die, or I definitely will. Oh, speaking of dying, right. Um... I have this here heal this kit right here <laughs> on my person. So what? if one of you Yeah, 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 yeah. If one of you goes down I brought you I I you were dying. I saved your life just by I don't even know what I did to be honest. I forgot, but Yeah, I'm really not sure what you did, but whatever it did, thank you very much, Wilhelm. I greatly it's appreciate it. Fine. It's just uh, this is a I... much safer way to do it i want to slap you to be honest you didn't tell us that you had something on your body that could help i yeah i didn't think it would come up I honestly why would think you not it would... think it would come up we have been in, in fights i have been fine the entire time i mean you've the, been this bitten laughter and is both emily and phaedra just so you know <laughs> oh, well, real real you quick know. guys real quick keep doing what you're doing because i need to use the restroom i'll be right back Okay. Mm. Role play amongst yourselves. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw the healer's kid out. <laughs> <laughs> I, if I, I don't know if I should keep it. I mean, I don't. No, know no, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I know how to use yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Just, just... It's very simple. You see, you just, you just take one of these charges that are in here, one of these metaphorical charges, and you <laughs> use it. You use an action to uh, on someone to use one of these three charges that I have in here. Very easy to do. Anyone can do it. No, no check required. By the way, I don't know what happened to that uh, spirit. It kind of just left after I stomped Teague's head in. Um, I probably just. No, I told to you the... his name, and you went downstairs. What did you do downstairs? No, I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about no, the no, one no, 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 no. The one that we were fighting outside. The one that nearly killed me. Yeah, that one. Yeah, mm -hmm. that one. Yeah. Uh, Wait, I there also, was I, there I, was I... another one. Yeah, there was another. It was a, it was a shade that was attacking us outside. Yeah, oh. that's how that's how that's you what knocked me that. out. Like, how how did you think I? How would out? I have known that? How how would I have been? 
Okay. So I so uh, I don't know if you you probably don't know this. I ran inside. I stomped Teague's head in. Um, I was being attacked from the back by the ghost, but it couldn't get across the salt properly. I think. Um, then the place started to like come down. I mean, it just like earthquakes, just like it, it, the lights were going off. It was, was it was really a, a bad trip. It did. It, it was. It was not great. Uh, I'm back, by the way. Been back for a bit. Welcome. <laughs> All right. Are we ready to head out? Are we? Phaedra, can you? How much of that did did, did that did sap or whatever help? It helped. I can walk. How much is left? I. Right. I think drank all of it. Uh, like it was like I think originally we were going to split it up half and half between me and Fog, but then one whiff woke Fog up. Did we still split it up half? I'm not sure. But I thought there was at least a little bit left, but I don't I don't know. I wasn't handling it. Yeah, I don't remember. I, I don't think Fog had any more uh, outside of the sniff. Okay, Fog had a sniff, sniff, and I guess so, I drank the rest of it. It was it was like it was a very small vial. It was very much like one serving type of a deal. Yeah. Right, okay. DM. Yes. Okay. Cool. 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 We'll have to move slowly. Not okay. At least it's early. Wait, should we get more exact directions to the wetlands? I don't know that anybody here can give more exact directions, except maybe, uh, who's the dwarf guy? Uh, 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 uh one yeah. moment. Yeah, sure. Huh? I want to go over here to the kitchen. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Is he asking Ulri? Ulri. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Ulri sort of like seizes up a bit as he stands up or try jolt, like jolts up a bit more, but you can't stand straight because of his back. Oh, you nearly made me drop my cod. And he turns around. <laughs> he's holding the frying pan. Whatever's in the frying pan is definitely not cod. It's not fish for that matter. But it is meat, hopefully. I have two questions. <laughs> First, what was that saying you told us to say to the to the little folk? We have that. In Do it. Fing down yes. saying. Yeah, it's in my notes. Okay. Thank you. Second, do you have a map? I do! And he reaches into his little vest slit that might be a pocket. And he fumbles his fingers in there for a second and he pulls out an empty hand and now it's stretching his index finger points to his temple in here is my map I'm just gonna walk out <laughs> <laughs> no he doesn't have a map <laughs> you just got pranked by a boomer get fucked I <laughs> uh, got him you know he's like golden generation. He's like fucking pre World War Two. No, no. How how do you know? Maybe he's a time traveler, bro. Come on. We don't have a map. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You, you asked Wolverine. I do, I I thought he might come around, but. I shouldn't be insulting him. He is actually a very good man. He's he's very nice, but yeah, he, but he's kind of. Um, <clears throat> I don't think he's no. I don't. I think he is quite smart. He is just a prankster and <laughs> not all there. He's just a, a, a funny old man. We need we need to go. Yeah. Are you exiting the tavern? Yes. I yes. believe so. 
Uh, as you exit, you see Mob sitting in the chair. He's slouched over a bit like a basset hound is all the time. His paws outstretched and halfway resting on the armrests. I give him ear scritches. As you approach him at all, Phaedra, he hops out of the chair, stands on all fours, and looks at you. Hello, boy. What you doing? Where's Brandon? <coughs> yep. Thought that was the answer I'd get. Give him some ear scratches. I can't do that again. That hurt my throat so bad. It was good though. Oh shit! Don't say it's good. That's gonna encourage me to do it again. <laughs> oh god. Oh fuck. Does does Mob look like freaked out or anything like that? Um, insight check, I suppose. Because yeah, I'm thinking it's kind check. of. It's How kind about of this weird. insight Just... insight check? And you can add if you don't have proficiency with insight, you can add your proficiency from animal handling. Not either. Okay. Fuck. He seems like a dog. Well, in all fairness, he doesn't uh, seem like a dog. He seems like his usual self. He's very weird for a dog. I was gonna say it, it's kind of like weird that Brandon isn't around because usually they're like right next to each other. You know how, this, how the game started with them being as far away from each other as they co possibly could be. Yeah, but usually <laughs> it's because Mob is running somewhere. He's fair, never like fair just enough, actually, hanging yeah. out. True. Facts. Sitting like a human in a chair. Bro, I mean, maybe this is normal. It's only been like two days. He's vibing, I bro. guess. <laughs> he, he is vibing. His vibes are immaculate. Whenever we turn <laughs> our back, it's just like he like gets a grin and starts like rubbing his paws together. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need something, Mom? <sighs> Don't. Who are you waiting for us? Uh, he, he, um, <laughs> and, uh, sits down in front of you, then stands back up. Uh, Phaedra, roll me an animal's handling or an insight check to discern what the heck he's trying to tell you. Ooh. Animal handling's an easier DC. Uh, and it, yeah, make, but... make your animal handling with charisma, not wisdom. Same ooh, goes to the insight. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Um... This is a matter of communication now, not inference. So, so basically charisma, because I don't have proficiency in animal handling. Sure, just a charisma roll. Okay. Nope. It would be disadvantage anyway, so you know. I mean, you uh, have... You, you, I, know I could you, get a natural one. Let's see. Nope. I mean, you, you do have that inspiration if you want to use it here. Ha ha ha, I'm being the evil trickster DM. No, no, I'm not. I, I don't want to use it on this. I want to use you it. Have, you have, you have no idea what's go. up. Yeah, you have no idea what's up with Mob. <laughs> let's just go. All right, let's go find Gila. <clears throat> uh, Wilhelm, as you walk off, uh, Mob's going to follow you. A mob. Do you want to come along? Like hold the railing. Uh, as you stand there asking him a question, he's gonna reach around to his rear and sniff it. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna turn around, shake his head, and just keep on walking. Uh, as you walk away, he snaps back to attention and follows you. Okay. Sure, I can see. If you kill this dog, I swear to God. <laughs> Can you imagine if I did? <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at tickets to you California listen. right now. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Willem, do you think he knows where the Yilith is? I... I'm not sure Mob knows a lot about anything, Phaedra. You should ask him. Oi. Willem's gonna uh, turn around and say... No, no, no. What? 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 Uh, he's a dog. He tracks by scent, not by listening to you. If you have something <laughs> you have... up your lips, 
<laughs> no. But we have something of Matilda's. We know where Matilda is. She's in the forest. We don't know where Yilith is. But we don't always know how to get to her. Magical forest and all that. I mean, I guess we could try the journal. It might just freak him out. I really don't want to go to Matilda like this. If it turns into a fight, we are fucked. I don't think it'll turn into a fight. I am not willing to risk it. There is a non-zero chance that she will fight us on it and that she won't make a deal. That non-zero chance could be our test. I have have an idea. We go there. We don't mention anything. (laughs) As she much, knows already. She probably, yeah. Does she? The yes. younger one was informing her as to what was going on when that information chain stops. Something's probably wrong. Then if she sees me, she's going to kill me. If she sees Phaedra, I don't know. If as she much sees as you, I... I have no idea. I don't even know who she you are She had an anymore. attachment to T, even as a botchling that she fucked up. As much as I really don't want to do this, I could go in to the forest myself and return no. to you. No. I have... I have... I am vetoing I... that. Does anyone have any dice? No. I do. I have coins. No dice. Why? I mean, does your character have dice? Oh, no. <laughs> Is that you were asking? No. To be fair, we're playing D and D, and you ask. I know it's had weird. Dice. I have proficiency in dice set. <laughs> well, I have proficiency in playing cards. Yeah, we can I flip a coin. <laughs> I don't like the idea of flipping a coin. I don't either. How about how about we go to the edge of the forest, and then we decide then. First, we have to get there. That could we be could... a, knowing our history, that could be a, tr- a struggle in itself. We didn't see many orcs while we were traveling during the day, so we should be fine as long as we have the daylight with us. Yeah, and it's they really can, early, so that should be fine. They can see very well in the dark, so later it gets, the worse off we are. Hmm. We already know at least the first fort is clear. We could pass through that, and that should get us close enough to the denser regions of the forest. Unless the orcs, you know, went there and found the burned bodies and the dead bodies of their comrades while we were gone. We did leave a pretty big fire burning. I don't know that they would stay there long, though. Didn't seem like the place that was the type of permanent camp set up. I think think if they would have cared, then this place would be burning. Probably not this place. I don't think they would believe that anyone here is capable of that. When we spoke to Haz about it, he was very upset. He said that we endangered the whole town. How about let's get moving and we can talk as we go. Do we want to head through the fort or circle around it then? Maybe avoiding it might be better. I say circle around. Okay. We'll do that then. Uh, the forest is like an eastern ridge. Um, like you had to go pretty far east to get to the centipede cave. That's why you decided to go through the forest. Yeah. But the wetlands, the marsh, that's at the northernmost top of said forest, and then and then some. Uh, in Brandon's word, I think it's when the lead goes to nowhere as you try to leave this place. Um. So it's not that hard, actually. You can just follow the outline of the forest starting from where you are, because you're on the western side of the forest. Mm-hmm. So you can just travel north that way. Um, yeah. Oh, so we're closer to the wetlands. Well, or no, the wetlands are much more north than the forest is thick to the east. But, um, yeah. But it could be easier to get there. Yeah, because we're oh, just yeah. going. We're just going north, along a, a clearly marked line. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will Let's say. North. 
Uh, I will say that in order to even get to that tree line at all, somebody's going to have to make a survival check. It's a very, very low DC. DC 9. Because I'll of how it. much you've walked okay. through this uh, place. Uh, hang on, stop. Don't. Uh, uh, Wilhelm is proficient stop. in survival. Wait, you're proficient in it now? Uh, don't no. fucking touch the goddamn... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't touch it, guys! Don't touch it! <laughs> yes, I traded my nature for survival because it made no sense why I knew more about nature than survival. Maybe you're a bit of a okay. nerd. Haha. Ha. Yeah. <laughs> he is man's just actually, that okay, is not the okay. pepper of flower. Wilhelm has way too much jock energy to be a nerd. He, he has himbo energy. Is it what sorry. it feels like to be a jock? I'm sorry, I played Minecraft when I was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay. Hey, but uh, you succeeded the DC, though. Oh, yeah. He yeah, did. I guess so. Uh, walking in the early morning sun, uh, you see clouds ahead. Rain's probably going to show up at some point. Most likely a light drizzle. The clouds aren't dense. They're very white, almost see-through. Or very fluffy and white. Um, pretty see-through in a lot of spots. Uh, walking along the aimless, barely beaten path, you come across the edge of the tree line um, and see inklings of streams and, and little dried gullies that, you know, stem far from the north and a bit from the forest itself. You're at the edge of the forest, what's the move? Circle around to the north. To the wetlands, to Yilith. If we go to Yilith, she may help us in the situation with Matilda. Yeah. I don't know if she'd be the type to want to get involved. She She's might. Trying. This is her home. Yeah. And I want, Matilda so, makes a lot of mentions of her husband. She I think. I think it depends on what's uh, more dangerous in your eyes. I'm gonna move you all to the if sort she, of like the waiting screen. Yeah. If she sees that if journal, get to the if, she reads, if she reads that journal. I think she will get involved. Is Mob still following me, by the way? Yeah. Mob is, like, with you guys. It's like... Do I have a companion, an animal companion? Oh my gosh! We're a party of four, guys! We did it. Now we gotta look up fucking animal handling. Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Okay. I feel like Mob is gonna end up having some weird fucking abilities. He's gonna like grow tentacles like the like the dogs in the thing. Oh my god, what if what if he turns out to be like you know you know the cat in Captain Marvel? Yeah. 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 What if that's similar to that's like, similar to what I said, but a more modern <laughs> reference. I mean I, I got the thing reference, I didn't get the Captain Marvel reference. <laughs> I, I've never watched the thing, I'm and, sorry. Oh dude, those... those a fantastic film. Terrifying effects. But it's, like, but it's horror, isn't it? I hate all, horror. Movies. All practical effects, it looks... Wait, why do you hate horrors? Wilford, Wilford I hate Brimley horror movies. Oh, I'm an idiot. You know the diabetes guy? He's in the movie. <laughs> Sans awesome. mustache. So we're going along. <laughs> Alright. Walking up north, you can see that mob despite maybe a few rocks here and there that get in the way where a dog would obviously move out of the way he actually tries to keep on your uh, your left side trying to stay away from that forest as much as he can whilst remaining close to you uh, Boy. yeah that, that forest ain't to mobs liking as you're traveling more and more north uh, you see where the path sort of gets more defined and starts to diverge into the direction of where that fort was. Now the question is, do you want to keep going more north, like directly towards where the wetlands and the marshlands are? Or do you want to head up that fort again, after you uh, made a show and a scene? I think, skip the fort. Head up towards the wetlands. 
I think going to the fort is essentially just like an all-around bad idea. Yeah. Well, it's no survival checks and no chance of getting lost, though. Like there's but there is a just, chance of yeah. of um, something far worse than survival checks and getting lost. True. Yeah. It's up to you. What do you think, uh, Fog? I've mentioned that I think I doubt that they would have returned and set up camp there. It would be safer, but maybe it's best to cover more ground so that we have a better understanding of this place. I think... I think I can lead us right, but if you want to, if you two want to go to the fort, then we will. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk going to the fort and seeing more orcs. Okay. All right. So you I guys are you're, you're going on north, not towards the fort. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, this is, um... <clears throat> this is where I ask for a survival check. Luckily, you have mobs, so if you ever do get lost, you can always find your way back to town. But... <laughs> I was really about to say, don't fail us. And then... You have an inspiration. I, yeah, I was about to say, there's no such thing as... Add my inspiration. You add 11 to your roll, making it a 15, which oh, thank hits, God. <laughs> just hits the DC. Nice. Amazing. See, nat ones. There may not be nat successes, but there ain't nat ones. I Unless just broke into a fucking it? coughing That's fit from laughing. <laughs> <sighs> As you travel northward, you come across many coppices and a few cops. The coppices look like they've been cut down, as if some lumbering took place here, or some logging took place here um, years ago. But as you move through the cops, wading in and out of some trees, not some trees, the ground's getting gradually more and more wet, leafy quicksand in some spots. Murky, muddled mosh pits and others. You start seeing the wildlife of toads and other amphibious, water friendly beasts. Mob's nose perks up, and all of you that are within five feet of Mob have the option to make an insight check to instantly see what's wrong before he does what he's going to do. So, who's next to him and who's making that insight check? I assume um, that it's more like Mob is next to Wilhelm. Yes. So Most likely. Yeah. So. Wilhelm, you can make one. Ooh. Ooh. Is anyone else going to make one, or is it just Wilhelm? Um... I don't, I don't think I'd be close to Yeah, no, I don't... I don't... Yeah. No, no, that's, that is completely fine. Um, which is good, because that means that when he does bolt off, only one of you is going to be getting quote-unquote hit. Uh, Wilhelm, you can instantly tell just by spending your time around beasts when they get a whiff of something that, um... Mob has detected the scent of something, and he... Bolts off, running. I need you to make a strength saving throw. Shit. Okay, this is poor shit. <laughs> <laughs> you are knocked prone as Mob bolts and takes the dash action into the forest. Well, home falls. It's like, ah, fuck! Follow him! <laughs> I run after him. Yeah, I run after him. Action, bonus action, and uh, movement. You have a speed of 15. 
Yeah, but that's still so 40 that's 45. 45. With, yeah, that's not bad. That's 45. That is that is less than one of these guys just dashing. That's so funny. I mean, uh, uh, I, hey, gotta, uh, uh. I gotta use that rogue ability. <laughs> Alright, I'll Can say... I... Mm -hmm. Can I get up and do a breakneck dash? No, because you'd be spending your action to get up. Get Damn. up, I'll get on up. And also, I'll do the breakneck. And well, mob isn't just running in a straight line, and if you were to try and run in a straight line, like a breakneck, oh, dash, that's right, probably, it's only a straight line. Yeah, you'd like run into a tree or something. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, All right, is he well, at least leaving like a noticeable trail to follow? That's the issue with marshes. Oh fuck. Prints disappear in a matter of second if they're wet enough. Um. And it just drains. Yeah. So it's definitely wet enough. Yep. Gotta Fucking love it, shit. dude. Dude, when it rains, it pours. That's like the saying that I think I'm gonna. This that's the saying to describe the whole game. When it rains, it pours. Yeah. Uh, fog. Since you are sixty feet, um, you still have mob in your sights. He does the same <laughs> thing, full on dash away. Uh, I'm gonna assume that everyone repeats this what they do, with the exception of Wilhelm taking a dash. Uh, Wilhelm yeah. is going to uh, stand, run, and fuck it, action surge dash. Jesus oh. Christ! He's fast. He's fast, and this is what's gonna suck so much is that I'm then going to ask all of you at the end of your movement to roll a strength saving throw or a dexterity saving throw, your choice. Whichever one you want to do. So to the, keep us from tripping? Yep. Or... And the DC's higher depending on how much you moved. Uh, I'll, I'll use my inspiration for this. Do yeah, I... Dexterity saving throw? Well, Fog, let, if, me, let me say uh, yeah. if you succeeded or failed. Fog succeeds, oh, sure, sure. Wilhelm oh, fails. Okay. Fuck. Oh, it's nine. Well, no, it's different depending on how much each of you moved. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dis disadvantage. Oh, disadvantage. Ah! How, uh, just for, how far did I move? 40 feet? No, you moved the full amount, but you fell prone again. Yeah. Uh, so how far did I move? 60 feet? 90. You action to... search, bro. 90. <laughs> yeah, you, you in there. Hang on, is dash a bonus action? No, it's bonus it's action, action for me because I'm a rogue. No, action I know. So I stood up, did 30 feet. Oh, an action. So 60. Yeah, my bad. I forgot you had so to stand feet, up. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Fog, as you're running, it's a deck save, uh, you slip off of a rock. And since you were leaning backwards as you slipped, you didn't clothesline into the branch ahead of you. In fact, you're able to grab onto it, stabilize yourself, and keep on moving. Uh, Wilhelm, as you're running, you're foot got does, snagged under a this, root you were able to does tear this change because i was going not as fat not as far no actually oh, damn it. no because it's an eight <laughs> dc was nine okay. uh wilhelm as you're running your foot gets caught underneath a root you're able to break free of it just downright tear the thing out of the ground but using that much force causes you to overstep and you slip backwards you fall prone phaedra Ducking and weaving between a couple brambles and a bit of underbrush, you step into a bit of mud, your boots getting slippery, and as you continue to run, you are continuously, like, walking on sl on ice. But you're able to gracefully just bounce off and keep on going. However, Mob did exceptionally well, and you have now lost track of him. Uh, can I try and refind uh, any tracks that he might have left before they uh, disappear completely? Yes, you can. Okay. Survival? <laughs> yep. God damn it. Oh, what? boy. Oh, hey. Oh! Oh! Hey! You can what see. What's that be the DC? You can see. No, it's uh, actually five above the DC. It's quite good. Ooh. Um, well, because the marks are apparent. It's just that they disappear quickly. So if you're able to get them in time, they're easy to spot. Uh, you can see that his fur actually brushed up against some tree. And as he ran by, he must have cut himself or hurt himself or something because there's bits of uh, fur and a couple drops of blood here or there. 
Uh, they're sinking into the muck of this marsh quickly, but you can follow that trail. This way. And I'll keep going. Will Holm Hello. is going to uh, stand up and follow. Uh, actually, he's going to say, he's going to call out uh, for Mob. See if he'll like come back or whatever. Okay. As you guys are moving more north, though, admittedly more west than your original goal, uh, I'm going to put you on a map because you see Mob in the distance, but he's Next to some figure, its hand is outstretched until you catch a glimpse of it, Fog. And you know something's with Mob right by that tree over there. You just don't know who that is. Okay. Uh, while moving, I'd like you guys to, um, you know, limit it to how your turn is or how you want to go about what you're doing. I'll, uh, I'll I'll call out to Mob and uh, just move my regular movement up to this tree. You gonna stealth check or anything, or are you just gonna saunter on over? I feel like if it's a friend of Mob, at, at least immediately, that's not a cause for concern. Fair enough. Uh, I'll say it's Phaedra's turn next. Uh, she's uh, and I will do. Uh, movement bonus action to get next to Fog. Hmm. Very nice. Wilhelm, you? I've already factored into you getting up from prone, so that's where you are on the map. Hmm. Uh, have I used my action to get up? Yeah, you have. You're. This is where you are on the map right now. Alright, then I'm just going to... Uh, uh, I don't know what that for. Yeah, move up. Fog, your turn. Okay. Uh, I'll continue to move to maybe a better angle so that I can see. There it is, there it is, there it is. Uh-oh. You see Mob with some rather averagely built figure. Guy's wearing some standard linens, a nice white, maybe cotton shirt. He has a pack with him and seems to be caressing some floral item. Uh, but yeah, that's the scene right now. And since the suspense is gone, you guys can move about freely and do whatever. No turn order. Okay. Oi! Who are you? He looks in your direction and looks back to Mob. My, my, what an old boy! Mob, come here. Roll an animal handling with disadvantage. Oh, whoa. That's so sad. <laughs> that's so sad um because of all the tricks that mob is trying to do come is not one of them mother f <laughs> oh because he's always running away god damn. yeah you see it makes sense <laughs> um, uh, it's a dc 14 to teach him that god damn <laughs> i know it's so funny <laughs> train your dog amazing uh, well he's trying to do other anyways um mob doesn't come and he says you know, I've always found it funny that you expect dogs to come to us, but we never come to the dogs. Come, friends. Come over. Stay a while. It's not like the world's going to end. People frequently go towards dogs, especially when the dogs won't come towards them. I, I am pissed off for no reason. I am sorry, sir. <laughs> it has been a long day. Who are you? I'm just a pathetic peasant. Ganders. Nice to meet you. Peasants don't wear cotton like that. Bird linen. Perceptive you are. 
<sighs> Once a creator of candles, the copious customers dubbed me Lord of Light or the Lightbringer. Hence my lovely attire. And you're in these woods because... Hard times hit us all, don't they? Uh, as you get closer, Fog, you can see that Mob is eating what you assume to be some of this man's food. Yeah. Can I do... this might sound weird. A history or religion check on the name the Lord of Light? Sure. Or Lightbringer. Or uh, Lightbringer. Can I, can I do an insight check Robert on him? Fuck. Uh, you can all do whatever checks. Yes. Disadvantage. Hey! It's good. I want to see if I've heard of someone is he, as... Is he lying to us? Uh, you can't really tell. Something does, you know, make the hairs on your neck stand up a bit, but he seems earnest about being a candle maker. Perhaps the Lord of Light bit is a something one customer said to him, and he's being a bit exaggerative. Or maybe he's not exaggerating enough, and he's a crazy fucking eldritch gun. <laughs> I, I just want to see if I've heard of that moniker before. Um, how about would you think you have heard of it? You read it, you learned it, uh, heard about I, it. I would think uh, read or and or learned about. Probably a history of, check with advantage. It. Of course, of course. That is Arcana. I am so sorry. Same modifier though. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Um, you want to add any inspiration? Because it's a you fail. So sure. Far. You want to add the twenty or the other value? I yeah, shouldn't have sold let's you the, do the God, twenty. God damn it. Okay. Do I, do I do I get to choose uh, which inspiration die I, I cast? Um. Good question. I think I should do it in order. So I mean, you pick the twenty anyways, but from now on, yeah. it's gonna always be in order. Um, sure. Your d twenty value was the twenty. You were the first roll of the session. Your inspiration. Yep. So you have a forty four. You've heard the title Lord of Light. Or Lightbringer before, but it's a term shrouded in nothingness. There's. It's a term that's been used throughout time to mean a, a myriad of things, to refer to certain gods, to refer to a specialized profession that was super unique and valuable. Uh, I mean, logically, it's also referred to as um, candle makers, but Lord of Light specifically? Not sure that that's one you can you've come across. Of all the times you've heard of a name like that, it's just in like little stories or something. So maybe this guy's called Lord of Light as a bit of flattery. Is it kind of the equivalent of calling someone like John Doe, uh, like if they come to a hospital and they don't have identification on them? No, 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 no. It's um, okay. It's like saying, oh, you're like Robin. You're you might as well be called Robin Hood. You know? Okay. Someone who's appeared a... in a story before, but like yeah, exactly. The name itself could be anything. Yeah, like, you know, people take up... Peasants will take up whatever fucking name because they're bored. It doesn't look like a peasant to me. And, uh, is, is he human? Yeah, I I, keep, I I default always human. I know there's dwarves and elves and yada yada yada, but yeah, he's human. Okay. And what might a lord be doing out in these woods? Uh, can you say that again? I, I missed like half of that because roommate. What stuff. might a lord be doing out in these woods? <laughs> I'm sorry, master. You misunderstand. I'm no lord. It's what I was called back when I was the master of my trade. Yeah, he knows that he was just being sarcastic. It's what he does. Ah, oh, forgive so me. No, you didn't answer the question. <clears throat> forgive me, my. Brain isn't as young as it used to be. Time and all that smithering. I'm out here because I thought it'd be interesting to take a stroll across the country. Well, these lands are ripe with orcs. You'd 
best circle around it if you can. Maybe you're right. But, if that were the case, I wouldn't notice two things quite interesting. You, um, young lady, or duchess, you look rather gaunt and on the verge of collapse. You can barely hold your head straight and you want to fall over. And you, uh, lord with gloves, I see those at the side, at your waist. Let me guess, big centipedes, much bigger than the size of your arm? Who the fuck are you? Really? Like I said, a pathetic peasant nowadays. Um, his clothes, do they look traveled? Yeah. I mean, do you wow. want to make a check on his clothes? Uh, is he carrying anything else? Oh yeah, you said he has a pack. Yeah, well, he's, he's not on him, it's like on the ground and it's sort of spread out a few knickknacks here and there. Well, I think... It sounds like you've known uh, quite a bit about this land then. Maybe it's time for you to visit somewhere else. As will we. Before I do, allow me to offer a bit of what I know. You see, and correct me if I'm wrong, you, miss, had a rough night. Could use some rest. But by the look on all your faces, you look rather dismayed, disheveled, in a hurry, in a rush. Don't have time for rest right now. I know a little trick that can really loosen the bones and muscles, really rejuvenate Insight you. check. Insight check on all of this. Go for it. Why am I rolling so well on this? I've been rolling like shit. He's coming off like a charlatan-esque businessman. Maybe he's talking up the effects of what he knows more, but it doesn't come off like he's actually being deceptive. Just flowery, or flowery. Um, so this whole time, he definitely has not been telling us the whole truth. It's all half truths, essentially. No, 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 not that at all. Um, he's probably just talking things up. Are you going he's, to stop talking like something. you're waiting for applause anytime soon? Apologies, miss. I'm no longer a merchant, but the merchant is still in me. The centipede pincers. Mm. They've got a thing in them. Seizes the body. You can't move. But if you mix it with something that numbs the nerves as well, something that calms the body when it's in its shutdown process, it can heal quick. It can heal fast. And it just and so happens... the adverse effects? As far as I know, so long as nothing happens to you while you're in your solid state... You should be fine. And it just so happens that I have a bottle or two of schnapps that I told myself I could never drink alone, and I've been dying to wet my throat. I mean, you can make your own check on um, the centipede pincers if you want to see if any of that's true. I know what he says is <clears throat> somewhat true. I just didn't know how to prepare it before. Can I do an inside check on Fog to see if he's bullshitting? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he just wants to really prank he's Phaedra. Just getting, he's just yeah, trying to get it. Well, damn. back at me for the drink. When, when, I, when, I, when he did the check to see what they could do, uh, he did learn that there could be possible okay. medicinal uses to it. He didn't quite know like the pr correct proportions to do it and what else would be needed to make that possible. Okay, good. I'm glad I wasted a, a d20 on that. <laughs> Got him. 
<laughs> Next roll is gonna be a nat one. <laughs> I'm calling it, it now. So what'll it be, fellas? Shall we have a toast and then make merry while one of us rejuvenates? Or shall we continue letting your hound eat away my supper? Phaedra, that's your call. Why do you guys dislike this man? Fuck. I do not trust him. You, okay. I do if you not were trust walking him, in the woods you and you meet a, a man. Yeah. <laughs> who's just like, hey, I have this stuff that might be able to hear you. Want a drink? <laughs> Want to get fucked up with it, with me? In this, guys, in this swamp? guys I know, I know that Hicksmud has like a lot of shit in it. Like a lot of shit. But not, e like, like. Not everything is literal shit. Come on, I'm not an I'm not an evil DM. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh God. Wilhelm, Wilhelm <laughs> looks to the others. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what else to do. It could help. If it doesn't help, then I'll just take this man's head off. Sounds good to me. You say this out loud to the point where he can hear you say that. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Wow, I come offering help, and I don't even get upset that your dog is eating my supper, and you say something like that? I apologize. As I said, we've had a rough morning, night. Um, Persuasion. As you can plainly tell. Last two hours. Persuasion check, Wilhelm. Ooh. So got it. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I'm man. so happy I was wrong. I'm so happy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I, I love that. I love that so much. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty partial to it as well. <clears throat> I understand. Like I said, we all go through rough times. I would ask you this, though, before she makes a decision. While she is in her stupor, what shall we do? Well, make merry and drink, eat... Exchange stories? I mean, we are men of the road, it looks like. Sounds like you already know some of us. No, merely, percep merely perceptive. I have an eye for detail. That's how I was able to make it big when I did. Hmm. Do you make very detailed candles? Oh, the best. Though time has taken its toll on my tinkering hands. How this, old does this person yeah, look? Does this guy look old? No, he looks mid-30s, maybe bare 40s. I'm imagining, like... I have expectancy imagine. is still kind of low this age, right? Well, that's a statistic that's skewed off because of infant mortality. Like, life expectancy true, true. is... Well, for men, it's you die. If you more. if you live if you live past twelve, you will probably live a long time. Yeah. If you were going well, to die, no. If you lived natural... if you lived past thirty or thirty five, you'd probably live a long time because war. War is a really big. The two things, infant mortality and war, at least for males, is why the statistics for um, life expectancy are so fucked. Mm -hmm. uh, and how long do you think this stupid will take? for her to recover. Depends on how much she needs to heal. An hour? Two? I don't remember the specifics. I just learned it a time ago. And once I learned something, I never forget. Like a bike. A oh, what? I'm sorry. Forgive what I said. My god, is he a time traveler? <laughs> uh, can, I, can I check... Uh... Uh, where the sun's at, I'm not sure if it's too overcast to be able to tell. Um, uh, no, it's not at all. Okay. Yeah. Survival check. Just, uh, yeah. Survival? Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. Alright, you're doing this to check the time? Yeah. 13. Somewhere between 7 and 11 a.m. Actually, no, I can, I can time that. Somewhere between 7 and 10 a.m. Okay. Uh, I think we got a little bit of time to burn. What do you think, Phaedra? It's your choice. 
Fine. Now, miss, I must say, since I plan on having a drink, I... how to say it? It goes against my code to shove liquor down a paralyzed lass's gullet. Would you take the first drink before going under? I take the thing. He reaches into his pack, pulls out a glass bottle, pops the cork. To your health and to your soon-to-be excellent recovery. And he passes you the bottle. Uh, I want to try and inspect it, like swirl it around, because like I can see through the glass, right? Oh yeah. Um, do, do you know what schnapps look like? Swirl it around and see if there's anything weird inside it. Do you know what a schnapps looks like? Um. It's it's like Emily it's, doesn't. It's see through. It's like water. Oh, okay. no, I, I've I've always heard schnapps, but well, he's saying it schnapps. Oh, schnapp. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. That's why I wasn't. I mean, I've had like peach schnapps. Okay, 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 okay. I still want. Wait, to wait, wait. You had what? How old are you? Um, none of your fucking business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> I have an older sister. What do you expect? Mm -hmm. okay. For shame. I'm still the good child, okay? Um, anyway, but I, I do want to inspect the, the bottle mm -hmm. to make sure there's nothing weird um, about that. We're... You're inspecting it, you're investigating it, it's a... Make a nature check! Nature? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> nope. Uh, you can tell it's gonna be tell. strong just by smelling it. <clears throat> Take a drink. Big gulp or just a sip? Uh, uh a good how, gulp. A good okay. gulp. Good gulp, alright then. Alright. Um. Excellent, lovely. I mean, lady. And he yoinks the bottle from you, takes a wee sip himself, turns to Wilhelm, and to you! May the alcohol wet your gullet like grease shines your armor. Hmm. Wilhelm's going to take it and take, like, a small sip of it. Same as me. I admire that. Though you look much heavier and beefier than me, I hope it can hit you in just the right way. And he yoinks the bottle from you. Walks over to Fog. And to you, good sir. To your health. And he passes you the bottle. I'll come off it. I'm not gonna take it. Really? You don't take it at all? No. Fog, Fog, just drink. The thing. <sighs> Take a sip. And I'm gonna hold it in my mouth. I'm gonna act like I swallowed it, but I'm not gonna swallow. <laughs> so, I suppose that. Uh, I mean, I wanna roll, ask you to roll a deception just cuz, but he's gonna take, yoink the ball from you too fast and go over to his pack. So, you know, you can probably roll deception anyways, cuz passive perception stuff. Sure. From what you can tell, he didn't notice anything. Then he puts the schnapps back into the bag, corking it once it's already in the bag. Now then, for the appetizer, I suppose. And he gestures to the pincers hanging at your side. Fog. I'll take one off, hand it to him. Ah, uh, both, if you do not mind. I'll raise my eyebrows and hand him both. Uh, as he takes both in both hands, he then puts them both into one hand, has a loose grip because they're so big. Grabs some little dish that comes with a mess kit. I suppose now would be a bad time to ask, especially since we've drank together and are friends. Anyone got some... Wormwood, some hyssop, some 
prickly ash bark. Skisandra. <laughs> Skisandra berries will do. I'm just going to roll my eyes, delve into my pack, and slap some... Did he just name it's every a... single ingredient that Fog had? He named had... almost every. <laughs> no, I, I named uh, Skisandra, and you only know of the hyssop because of um, Matt's house. You don't have any of that yourself. Oh, I don't have any. Yeah, okay. Uh, then we will use the other thing you mentioned. The wormwood? <laughs> yes. Or the prickly ash, because you have both. Uh, let's do the wormwood. Ah, wormwood. Love the smell. Not so great for cooking. Flavors a bit much. Well, add it, I suppose. And he presses both the pincers very roughly into the pan, pretty much squishing them down. Uh, the chitin that covers the like the most hard bits of the mandibles cracks open. And as the flesh within mm. the sort of organs and the functions that actually regulate the amount of venom that gets injected into something <clears> per <throat> bite, it spills out. It's a gross, oozing black with a bit of a sinewy, sinewy red from the actual flesh of the centipede that's leaving it. Some of it looks Damn. a bit decayed because these pincers are old now. Um, he puts them to the side, mob sniffs at them. As if he's about to eat them, then goes back to the pack that has much more delicious stuff in it, for sure. He rubs the wormwood between his hands. Have you ever like been out and working out and you sweat and then you rub your hands a lot and some of that like dry skin comes off? Yeah. Yeah, so he's like doing it with that a level of force with the wormwood and then just sort of shakes his hands off into the pan, a couple of his uh couple of bits and flakes of wormwood just sticking to his hands because, you know, can't really get him off. It's not like there's a sink nearby. Well, miss, now you must be brave, and I'm glad you took a big gulp. Hopefully your mouth is numb so you won't have to taste that. And he gestures to the lovely concoction that's just been made before all of you. Don't roll my eyes and take it. Uh, roll a constitution saving throw with disadvantage. I... She already has disadvantage. This is also because the alcohol. And I, yeah, that's why I'm saying it. Nah, you fail. Uh, <laughs> Phaedra, you drink it, and as you tilt the pan up and even swallow just the first gulp, you actually get paralyzed. You stand in place for a second, the pan affixed high up, and some of it does enter your mouth and goes down your throat. You wish you could cough a bit, but you can't. Um, so some of it does enter your lungs, it's quite uncomfortable. And then some of it's spilling out the corners of your mouth, because you're paralyzed while standing. And then you start to fall forwards. Wilhelm, do you want to try and catch her, since you're right there? Please don't rip my sleeve again. <laughs> you rip your sleeve. What's the check for that? Nothing? Something? Uh, raw dex, raw strength. Actually, no. She's falling forward right in front of you. You're non-combat. You're paying attention. It's no check. Okay. You, uh, you catch her, and Phaedra, the last thing you see is almost hitting the ground, but not, and it's lights out for Phaedra. What the f***? What's that? We, uh, dude, we knew it was gonna happen. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> What, what did to you honest, think I thought she was, I thought she would, like, stupor I thought would be? Was, I thought she would like sit down or something, or, but she decided to drink something that would knock her out immediately as she was standing straight up. While the attention's on Phaedra, I'm just going to like cover I my mouth and turn behind smart. me and spit out the, the schnapps. Solhelm is going to gently place her on the ground on her side. Aww. And take the pan and kind of like just hand it roughly back to the light bringer what was his name ganders 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 okay. i didn't expect her to fall like that ganders well you had those pincers surely you've seen them in action she has on her actually yes <laughs> 
<laughs> well, then she's used to it. The recovery should be speedy. How, how fast will my recovery be? Rolling 20d12. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> One hour. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, wait, no, wait, no, no. It's 1d4 minus 1, though. So... Uh, 30 like minutes. 30 minutes? Sure, 30 minutes. I don't know, 10 yeah. minutes, 10 oh. minutes. <laughs> I mean, of course, your characters don't know that, unless you make a medicine check on her. Yeah, I'll, just I'll, to... I'll, I'll do it, I'll see how long she Wilhelm is just going to look at uh, Ganders and say, So, Ganders, where uh, are you from? Yeah. From a place far away, though... Times probably changed it. So I guess I'm from nowhere now. I really appreciate how you answer all of our questions with a non answer. <laughs> it's one of my greatest qualities. Providing answers to some and never fully answering questions when asked. Who uh, were your people? You would love. The witch who lives in the woods, let me tell you. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, the witch! No. Pardon me, sir, but I must answer him. I will tell you what my people are like before. But first, a witch. Do tell. Oh, it is such a long and complicated story. I'm sh I would never want to bore you with the details of such a thing. <laughs> Fair enough, then don't. He looks to you, uh, Elm. Yeah, you weren't expecting that. I was expecting to be like, no, I'm fine. Yeah. And he turns to now you, Now he Elm. knows. I don't have a peeper. <clears throat> I'm sorry to not give you the answer you were looking for. You said who were your people. You said that time has changed it. Did you have family? Have friends? In a way, all that I meet are family. I have a knack for making friends on the road. Though, something cautionary to be said about those you meet. Every light side has a dark side. However, the reverse is true. As is the example with your friend right here. Bitten by centipedes... A rather dark side, but solved of her, whatever her affliction may be now, a light side. I very much love candle making. Would compel you to offer three strangers a drink and medicine. You understand that this kind of friendliness is not common. That's very true. Very true. And he starts putting his pack together and walking over and collecting his things. We men of the road must offer our sucker. Who knows? I may need help one day. And you'll be there in the nick of time. And he walks behind a tree. Wait, you gonna, shit. You gonna try and talk to him still? Wilhelm was like thinking back to like storybooks and he's like, fuck, what, 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 what? He, he's gone. It's a classic trick. Seen it oh, before. God damn. Times. Yeah. Son of a bitch! It's like fucking Ulrich! <laughs> <laughs> Ulrich doesn't do that, we just don't. He did it! He did it! I swear! You can see uh, that, uh, Wilhelm, standing there, you can see with your passive perception that Mob has something weird in his mouth. Uh, he's sort of chewing on something like a sneaky dog knows he should be chewing on something. A, a gif. He's gonna, like... He's gonna, like, try and wrestle with the dog, okay. I guess, in order to pull out. 
whatever is in his mouth. Uh, <laughs> open your mouth. Open your mouth. <laughs> uh, you're not actually like trying to be aggressive about it. You're just, you know, being assertive like a dog owner. Yeah. All right. Uh, strength. Just a strength check. No athletics. It's not an actual contest. Also, uh, add proficiency to animal handling if you have it. You succeed. He failed. Um, uh, I have a plus one to animal handling. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just the wisdom. You see that he has a dead rose in his mouth. What's he got, Will? A. Wilhelm instantly is gonna just like go. Fuck. Rolly raw intelligence check for me, Wilhelm. Actually, I know, I know what it is, but... What do you think it is? Uh, Mob, whenever I first saw him, was yeah, peeing on a okay. dead rose. Yeah, true. Okay, you, you don't, I mean, then you don't need to do the intelligence check, you know. When he's going to, like, just takes the rose if he can. When I first got to town... Brandon sent me to find Mob. I did. I found him near a stream pissing on a dead rose. And then he's going to hold out the dead rose towards um, Fog. Well, I want to smell it. What? It's the same rose, isn't it? I guess. I don't know. I'm not going to smell it. Why, why would I smell it? It's been... What? Just saying. Weird things have happened. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna... This is gonna, like, stow the rose into his pack. <laughs> to remember <laughs> that. I guess flowers just want to follow you. Oh, God. You're not gonna let him smell it? Come on. Not gonna... <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Phaedra should be up not too long from now. She she drank it like two minutes ago. What are you talking about? Well, it seems to be working through her system pretty quickly. Okay. And Phaedra, you awake, feeling very refreshed. Usually when people awake, they want to go back to sleep, but you don't. You have no levels of exhaustion. You're not at full. Yes! You're not, Ebba, but you're, you also gain one HP, but you're not at full. So you're at 15. Or uh, you're out of, you're 8 out of 15. Or what's your um, max? Has, has it been, how long has it been since the, um, the wrapping of my ankle? Oh, that that was a while ago, yeah. Yeah, but it was gonna take four hours. For oh yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Point. I'll say I'll say that healing ticks off here as well. So there you go. So awesome. Plus one. It was four, right? Four and four hours. Yep. There you go. The so twelve. Almost at full health. There you go. Um. And with that, guys, <sighs> that is where we're gonna end session.